Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Um, before we start, I got uh, the uh, the sitting down uh, and laying down on furniture mod. I've added them. Ba Babby's first Zomboid. I don't think I've ever added mods to this game before. Um, so we'll try them out. Huge, I know. It's going to make a big difference. Anyway, we're jumping back in. We're resuming the adventure of Dr. Eddie Monroe, who is currently um, just outside of uh, Rosewood. Rosewood. There's a big uh, prison in Rosewood. <clears throat> Turns out I've never been to Rosewood before. It looked familiar, but um, um, I've never actually been. Uh, I think the, the, the place that I was in was... Um, Mur 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 Murdaw? Mur 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 it's it's over this way. It's like uh, over here somewhere, I think. Possibly. It's like it's like this way, right? There's like uh, some like little bits and pieces, farms mostly, and then it's like I think it's like around here. Muldraw. 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 Okay. Um, we left off and we were doing uh okay it is uh the 7th of the 16th how many how do i see how many days i've been alive for do i have to look at uh, my watch or something is looking at your watch even a thing does it tell you god i'm wearing so much stuff i got a fanny pack and everything crazy no it doesn't actually tell me uh, where, set alarm, place item, dismantle, unequip, no. The heart on the left will tell me. Info. Uh, seven days and two hours. Yes. that That is the one I'm looking for. Uh, we've killed 27 zombies so far. Not a lot of zombies killed, but uh, it's not a... Uh, we're not in a race to uh, to kill them either, right? we got a couple of things stored in here. We have kind of a safe-ish space to uh, to lay our uh, our head, reasonably safe. So this is Rosewood here. It's not a huge town. I think that's where we're gonna really want to be uh, doing stuff, right? Reasonably safe has quite a bit of food. I think we're gonna want to stage ourselves at that farmhouse. Maybe take all of our food with us. It's going to be a bit of a trek, but um, I think we should do it. I think we should go for it. I think now is the time, right? To make the, the heavy trek. Oh, we, we're, we need some wheels as well. Uh, like, we are walking so far all the time. It's crazy. We're stacking up some potato sacks, yeah. We're like a, we're, we're like a human pack mule here. Walking all the way to the uh, to the next spot. That farmhouse was uh, reasonably uh, safe, though, wasn't it? There's this fresh food store down here where we got the potatoes from in the first place. I say fresh food store. I've labeled it as such, but uh, it's not really, is it? It isn't really. Um, I think... Yeah, we're losing health here, big time. Like, really bad. Is it because of the dirty bandage? Can't be, right? I think it's just because we're carrying way too much stuff. No, it looks like the dirty bandage was causing us to lose quite a bit of health. And rapidly. Well, good thing I changed it, I guess. Fresh is questionable. Oh, it's pretty fresh right now. So we're not regaining any health at the moment, and we are at a high level of exertion. We might have to just stop and rest at the fresh food store and maybe just have another look around. It's still quite some, some way to get there. No, I don't have any vodka or anything to dump on this infection. Nothing. We'll have to try to find something. We found some bleach and some 
cleaning liquid, but I don't really know if I want to dump that on my infection, you know? Where's our car? Good question. Well, we don't have one yet. We're always on the lookout for one, but we've been I've been just uh, too scared to go into the um into the town because there's quite a few zombies, but I guess now that I got a bat um maybe it's uh, better. What uh what state is this bat in right now? How do I even see it? It's here. Attached to my back. There we go. Now I can see it. Um yeah, it's in pretty good condition, actually, it turns out. It's not, not so bad. Am I going to build a big old base? Well, I don't know. Um, prob I probably won't survive long enough. Well, like, we can try. Yeah, we're almost there. We could try to, to start building a, a base. We're going to need to learn the ins and outs of um, base defense. I think we want to... We probably want to build uh, something on the second floor, right? And usually the best way to... Uh, access your second uh, floor of your base is with uh, sheet ropes. That's the safest, right? It's the safest way to do it. Still losing health? No. Nope. No, nope, we seem to be at the same place with health. As we were. I've got my trusty tool belt on. I got my trusty baseball bat on. We can have a rest here. This place is open. I mean we could we could set up a base here, but there's just there's not, not a lot of point. Oh my gosh. Hello? she come from? We've been compromised. That's still locked. Huh. One lone zombie has wandered into the fresh food store. It's usually pretty quiet around here. What's this on the ground? What is that? Grab a sack. Oh, it's just a sack. Okay. Well, I'm not. I can't carry anymore, but uh, we can certainly sit on the ground and have a little rest. Maybe we can take. Um, oh, we're we're not in um, in much pain at the moment. Actually, it's nice for once. Are we restoring health a little? Not really. put this in here. <laughs> Let's put this CD in here too. <laughs> Let's eat a peach. We're pretty tired. This might be the only thing we do today. Let's have a smoke. Help with the exertion. Hey, what's up Spiff? How you doing? All right, a little rest. A little rest and then we should be good, right? Club hammer, dirty rags. We can just drop these dirty rags. We got plenty of plenty of sheets, right? How much does this sack weigh? Nothing. It doesn't really weigh much at all. I guess we don't really need to be carrying a saw around with us at all times, right? Same with like screws, scraps of wood. I don't even know why I'm carrying half of this stuff. Ripped sheets can go in here too. I got an electronics magazine volume three, which is unread. Let me just chuck that in there too. It's not going to help much, but we're almost there. Well, we're almost there. He says we're we're pretty far, but there's uh there's some houses that we can stop at uh, along the way for a little drink if we want to. And they've got fridges there too, so maybe we can stage some of the stuff. Sleep in one of those. Watch some TV. Sleep in the fridge. No, no, I'm not going to sleep in the fridge. 
unless uh, unless there's some nukes incoming, in which case could hide in the uh, in the fridge and become a, a ghoul and survive in the fridge as a ghoul for 200 years. True story of something that happened in a in another one of my favorite games. Okay, good. We're almost at the uh, we're almost at these little houses, which have also been cleared out uh, and are reasonably safe and have uh, a place to sleep and a fridge and uh, sinks that we can drink some water from as well, recuperate a little bit, and then uh, move this food to the uh, to the farmhouse and just try to stage out of there, I think, for now. I don't think we're ready to clear out the prison and live there just yet. Don't get me wrong. A day, a, a, the day might come, but I don't think that that day is today. It would be really, it would be a, a fun uh, challenge, though, eventually. I think, isn't the prison, like, one of the toughest places to, uh, to clear out and live in? You want to go in the, in the big house or the small house? I feel like the small house is a bit safer because of these fences, right? Although, there is a huge area at the front of the house that is not fenced. Anyone in here? Nope. Nope. I don't think anyone's here. Okay, let's get this uh, fresh food into here. for now, so that it doesn't spoil. It's a lot of sacks of potatoes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And uh, let's also have a drink. Feeling great, feeling great. Let's remove this dirty bandage. And let's uh, bandage up again. Let's uh, clean the rags. And let's uh, wash all of our clothing, I guess, for now. And then we can go to bed at uh, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, because we're so tired. I still don't have a can opener. No, I don't have my bed next to the fridge. I haven't uh, moved any furniture or done anything like that. I think I can sit with this mod. I think I can sit on the furniture, but I'm not sure how to do it. We'll have to figure it out. You just do a sit on ground and it'll do it, or rest. No. Sit on ground. No. That has actually sat on the ground. Sleep, investigate, carpentry, sit on ground. No, I don't seem to have an option to sit on uh, the furniture. I'm sure I enabled the mod as well. I don't know. Any ideas? Mm, packaged corn. Did I enable the mod in the save file? Oh, I don't know if I did. Do I have to do that? Says, how do I do that? Do you actually have to enable it in the save file as well as just at the at the at the front of the from the main menu? Okay. Back. Quit. You have to put it in the mod, the load order where you edited your settings. 
Okay, let's try it. So the mod's enabled. So what do I have to do now? Go options. No. Go to load. Yeah. And then what? More? You may change which mods the save file uses. Ah, okay. Choose mods. So I want this and this. Aha! Now it has now it has mods. Okay, good. Okay. Let's see if this works. Hopefully it doesn't break everything. Uh, sit on... Sit! Oh, that's great. That is good. That's nice. Good, some... some A little bit of extra RP there, which is always uh, always nice, right? Just leave the, uh, the power on. We might as well, right? Uh... I mean, we can go to bed, but we should probably just sit and uh, maybe read. Electronics mo uh, magazine. I don't necessarily want to pass out, but I don't want to go to bed too early either. Yeah, sometimes you just got to have a little sit down. You're right. It's nice to have just a little... A fun little sit down. So... Once I read a magazine, it just, it's gone, right? It's out of here. Nails, needle, paper clip, rip sheets, club hammer. Oh, already read. Okay, we can drop that because we've read it, right? Empty notebook. Sack of eight sacks of fresh potatoes. Oh my god, man. Lie? Sleep? Oh god, I hope nothing interrupts our sleep. It's a bit unsafe sleeping so exposed, right? On the ground floor. No barricades or anything. All right, we're awake. Let's eat some peaches. We are going to get so much diarrhea, it's crazy, right? Okay, let's grab half of these sacks of potatoes. And this peach. Let me just double check that there's nothing that we need from these. God, there's all this food that we can come back up and get. It's all canned food, so it's fine, right? Don't need this radio. Okay. All right, so we're going back down to the farmhouse, which is... Uh, we could take the road down. I think there's a couple of zombies along the way on the road, but we should be able to fight them. We do have a lot of fresh potatoes on us. There's the safer way, which is, like, through the woods, but it is quite dark. I don't think you can use a sack of potatoes as a weapon, sadly. That would be really cool, though. You'd never leave the door open like that? What, just in case some stragglers just wander in? Yeah, that's a good point, actually. I think my survival skills could use some work. All right, let's wander down the road here and just uh, see if there's, like, any cars or anything along the way. I'm sure we've walked this road before, the only road I've ever known. I walk these city streets on the boulevard of doobie-doo, shooby-dooby-dooby-doo. I think it's safe, actually. I don't think there's that many bad guys. Uh, uh, there's one. <laughs> Just perfect timing. There's one bad guy. 
Okay, I should be able to dispatch this guy. No problem. Oh, Terry. Hey? Oh, yeah, which, which number? Oh, hang on a second. Um, two sex chat. Sorry, I'm uh, I'm back. Hey, uh, modern um, Messiah sixty three. Thanks so much for the uh, for the sub and also uh, anonymous. Thanks for the five gift subs as well. I appreciate it. Thank you. This guy's got some uh, some red stripe boxers. Okay. Sometimes you just got to take the red stripe boxers, right? Maybe we can get a mod where we can do some cool dancing, like. Uh, what was that Tom Cruise, um, Risky Business? Was it Risky Business? When Tom Cruise is dancing around in his underpants? Maybe we could go for something like that, but use the, uh, the, the stripe to... He did that in Top Gun as well? Okay, I don't remember that happening in Top Gun, but take your word for it. Oops, I missed. Oh, nice. Okay, anything good? No. Blue trunks, denim shorts. Okay, we don't need any of that stuff. There's a couple more here. The bat's kind of nice, actually. I feel like confidently we can take on, like, small, small packs of uh, bad guys, right? It's not so bad. As long as we don't pull too much in. Just absolutely rocking the melons. Just shattering the melons. There's a leather jacket here, but I we're, we don't really need to start collecting clothes just yet, I don't think. I don't think we're quite at that stage yet. All right, there's still a ways to go down the road here. Getting a little bit thirsty. We could do with finding like a bottle, like a water bottle or something that we can just fill up. And then when we're out on the road and we get thirsty, we can just have a quick drink. Oh. Okay, there's three now. Yeah, you can level up all these combat skills. You can level up... Uh, Melee and whatnot. Whoops. Missed. Nice. Alright. Boots. This guy has some boots. Actual boots. Let's wear these boots. They're probably better than what we've got on now. Long socks. It's got a bloody lumberjack shirt. Grab that and wash it. Baggy jeans. Sneakers. Jeans. A spare hat, perhaps? Okay, good. Well, I mean, we're, we're killing zombies out here. Lumberjack shirt's got to be good, right? Oh, God. 
flush. I'm dead. I, I'm I'm dead. I can't. I just missed the swing. I can't get away. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> well. Oh, seven days, twenty-one hours. I only killed thirty-eight zombies. I don't even know. I don't. I don't. I don't know how that happened. I just couldn't get away either. I was trying to get away. Oh, I felt confident with the bat, but there's just too many of them. Um. Okay. I mean, we could. Uh, we could carry on with that. Uh, well, there's no guarantee that we'll spawn where we were. How do we want to do this now with this playthrough? Do we just need to create a new world every time? Or do we just keep respawning back into the same world? Because, I mean, it seems kind of shitty that we'd be able to build a base and then get to it, right? With a new... Yeah, it has to be a new world every time, right? Well, poor Dr. Eddie Monroe is... Is Deddy Monroe. <laughs> uh, oh, Dr. Deddy. Dr. Deddy. He's, he's out. Time for some Penny Whacker? Gosh, yeah. Might be, some, might be time for some Penny Whacker. Okay. So I go solo. Um, Apocalypse... We got the mods challenges we don't need any challenges um wait is there a custom sandbox right so in custom let's go rosewood again i was kind of getting uh used to the uh to the area population time okay we want save pre presets we want the survival challenge rules right this is what we used last time just to just to go quickly all right we need um we need a new character. We've done a doctor. It didn't really get us anywhere. You want to just go unemployed and then uh, and then pick our own stuff, or lumberjack maybe. We could go lumberjack. What does lumberjack give you? Axe man, better at chopping trees and faster axe swing. Nice. So we get axe skills, fitness, and strength. Lumberjack is pretty OP. Well, yeah, I'm sure, but, um, you know. <laughs> Baseball player for long blunt. Strong, athletic, thick-skinned, hunter, hunter, handy, adrenaline junkie, organized, low thirst, keen hearing, hiker, foraging and trapping, herbalist, former scout for first aid and foraging. What about fit? Let's take fit. Minus six. And then we can then we can uh, take also uh, makes more noise, cowardly, smaller viewing distance and slower visibility fade. Slow reader, weak stomach. Actually we probably want fast reader, right? Is always a good one. So we'll take fast reader and fit. Uh, higher chance to have food illness. Gets panicked when outdoors. Gets panicked when indoors. More likely to be spotted by zombies. Decreased container inventory capacity. Hard of hearing. Smaller perception radius and smaller hearing range. Hearty appetite. Pacifist. Prone to illness. Sleepy head. Needs more sleep. Smoker seems okay. It's plus four as well, right? Fear of blood. Panic when performing first aid on self, cannot perform first aid on others, and gets stressed when bloody. Feeble, high thirst, restless sleeper, slow healer, slow learner. Oh my god. All of these negative traits are awful. <laughs> I don't know which ones to take. Please zoom when I fight. Well, it wasn't so much that I couldn't see what I was doing. I could see what I was doing. It was just just the angle and everything. I thought I had the hit, but they just get on top of you so quick. You Like one miss and you're done. High thirst is easy. 
Needs more water to survive? Are you sure about this? Okay, well, we can take a plus two. Sorry, I should say a minus two. Outdoorsman? Wakeful. Iron gut? Nah. Cat's eyes? Better vision at night? Seems pretty good, right? Dexterous is pretty nice, too. Dexterous, fast reader, and fit? Plus two fitness. I suppose we don't really need fitness, right? Because we can just work on that. Brave, first aider, gardener, graceful. Lucky? Sometimes things just go your way. Brawler? Axe and long blunt? Would be pretty good, actually. Cook? Eagle-eyed, fast healer, fast learner. Okay, let's do fast learner instead. Dexterous, fast reader, and fast learner. We're going to be like a, like a learning machine. Better to take underweight. We're going for a nerd build. Get weak stomach and underweight. No, no, let's just go like this. It's fine. So we got high thirst. We're we're a very thirsty smoker. Lumberjack. Yes. Um you can go completely random. Thelma Fournier. <laughs> the lumberjack. Do you want to go random or do we are we making our own? I could get I could get behind Thelma Fournier. Obese is a good one. Just eat less and exercise and you get rid of it. Okay, we'll go rando then. Um, so we start with some shoes, socks, baggy jeans, a McCoy's t-shirt, and a denim shirt. Sure. Our name is Thelma Fournier and we're a lumberjack. Okay, let's go. Let's see if we can survive a bit longer. I mean, we could probably use the same kind of area that we were fixing to use that time had we not uh, gotten mauled by. So I, I just need to not uh, fight too many things, right? Lorelana, what's up? Uh, Eddie died, unfortunately. Just too many zombies for his one baseball bat. Could not, uh, Could not handle it. Okay. Rolling pin. Yep. Bread knife and a spoon. Nothing here. There's some ketchup and mustard. We can eat those later. Anything in the freezer in the microwave? Oh yeah, look at all the uh, frozen food in here. Nice. Okay, there's the Angler USA Volume 2. There's First Aid Volume 1. can take that. Uh, let's take a pen as well. Anything in here? Aha! Okay, there's a hoodie here as well. Some red trunks and a pillow. Earbuds. I don't think we need any earbuds. Uh, there's a sheet. There's a bit of TP. Okay, it looks like the news is on. Ah, fishing? Wow! A VHS tape. Uh, fishing Volume 2 as well, if we want to ever read that. First Aid Volume 2, The Hunter Magazine. Another VHS. We need to figure out where we are, exactly. So I don't know where we are right now. Magazine, rubber band, and TV remote. Oh, we are right in the town, I think. So 
So we're going to want to try to get some distance between us and out here, right? Put these socks on. And also we need some visibility too, which we currently do not have. I don't think uh, we're near the... Uh, yeah, I guess the main street is like kind of up from here, right? So we're going to want to avoid getting killed and make our way kind of to the outskirts and then just try to clear out some of those little farmhouses and stuff, right? Would be good. Oops. Oops. All right. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. We have to be nimble and quick. Need some visibility too, would be really nice. It's very, very misty. We might cut through here. We could dance on the fences if we need to, right? A little. Hello? They're still following me. I don't have great visibility, but at least I could see somewhat in front of me. Oh, I can see a couple come in here. Okay, it's a parking lot. I think we're heading the right way here to get out of town. Oh, what's this big building? Is this the school? Poor Thelma Fournier. Out here, alone, exposed. There's a couple cars here. I don't think we stopped just yet, though. I think... Let's wait till we have some visibility. We won't take any unnecessary fights, right? We'll run away where we can. Try to get to a place where we can just compose ourselves a little. Thelma, I'm expecting great things. I'm expecting only the greatest. There's no chance of us bumping into Dr. Eddie Monroe because we've restarted them out. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, let's not go that way. Some more civilization here, it looks like. And another parking lot. We want to try to get to that farmhouse, I think. It seems like a nice spot. Pizza world? Okay, I'm not familiar with pizza world. This rolling pin is uh, quite in quite bad condition, actually. Somebody's dog is barking, or, well, whimpering, I should say. That's not really barking. That sounds like more of a whimper. A dog whimper. All right. Some power lines here. This road. Lord. 
Gosh, there's a lot of zombies. Um, I'm not holding out a, an awful lot of hope for this. I can't see shit, and also I don't know where I am. And I feel like uh, Thelma Fournier is quite dehydrated at this point. If we can just put some distance between ourselves and the zombies and get out to the outskirts, I think we've got a good chance, right? we got a good chance of beating the previous best of seven days and, what, three hours? Nope. All right, I'm going to try to get back onto the road, but hopefully we've skipped a lot of the population that was on the road. Because there was a quite a big pack on the road. I think I roughly know where we are. I think this road will get us to the farmhouse eventually. But we might want to not stay on it, because the zombies do kind of like going on the road. Alright, we're thirsty, but we're not scared and it doesn't seem to be anyone chasing us from what I can tell. Alright, let's see if we can find the road again and then at least we have something to work with. We can see paths and stuff. If there are any paths. Okay, there's the power line, so we're along the road at the moment. Alright, so for this one, if we are going to survive, we definitely need wheels, right? Can't be walking everywhere, especially if we need to carry a lot of stuff. Like last time we were carrying all those that fresh food around. Kind of did us in. See anyone? No. Aha! Oh! I don't know where we've just come from, but that was not the gas station, and st or what was it? We might be heading to Destination Unknown, actually. I think that that was... I think that crossroads, I think that's the farmhouse there, isn't it? All the way back? So I don't know what's coming up here now. Oh no, if it was the farmhouse all the way back, then the, then the two houses should be up here, right? If that's the farmhouse all the way back there, then this is where Eddie died, up around here, along this road, right? Yes, it is. Oh, this is great. Okay, I know where we are. And we can take the safer route to the farmhouse, which w is what we should have done in the first place with Eddie. I mean, I don't know why we didn't, but... Okay. Should be pretty easy to clear out uh, these houses here and compose ourselves a little, right? If this is where I think it is. Yeah, it is. Look. This is the spot. Okay, let's see if there's anyone in here. Hello? There's no window anywhere else here, is there? Okay. The TV is on. Nice. The door's unlocked. Anyone in here? Okay. 
Okay, we can turn off the radio. Oh, there is no TV here. Okay. Anything in here? There is a lot of canned stuff. There's some fresh food. There's a whole bunch of... Uh, great. Right. Let's get all this clothing washed up as well while we're here. Radio and a microwave is like Hobo TV. Can you get scale-ups from listening to the radio? Or is it just from watching the TV? Yeah, the fog's finally lifting as well. This is, this is good. We need to find a digital watch so that we can see what time it is. All right, let's see if there's anything good in here. There's a word search magazine and a magazine. The bookshelf is empty. Um, okay, let's rip these sheets. I got some wet socks and wet and wet shoes. Okay, we can rip this clothing as well. Make some bandages. Put them in the satchel. Okay. Oh, you know what, actually? The other house has a TV, right? So we should empty everything from this house and take it to the next one. I think the other house has an alarm on it, or at least it did last time. Or no, that was the reasonably safe house, right? That had the alarm on it. All right. This house is a little bit bigger, so there could be some action in here. Oh. Somebody in here. At the front door? No, deeper in the house, I think. Ah, I see. It's the back door there. Oh, two doors. Just check outside just to make sure. There's nothing out here. Okay, let's see. Who's going to break out first? I'm too scared to open the doors. I always get they always get the jump on me when I open the door. <laughs> What's behind door number 1? What if they both break out at the same time? Oh, there's a toolbox. How long does it take them to break down a door? Qu quite long or not really? I feel like these doors are probably pretty weak. What's a, what's a bandeau? I don't know what a, what a bandeau is. Um, one thing I do know is that my rolling pin has probably had it, right? Ah, oh, it's, maybe it's okay. One hit. 
You got a watch on you? He's got a key. He's got a wallet as well. What do you need a wallet for, if anything? Nothing, I guess, right? Pants. A briefcase and some shoes. There's an empty notebook. I can hear a tin can rolling down the road. Um, briefs, hand, fork, wear, sneakers, wear. I guess we want probably to make some um, sheets, right? We rip all the clothing. <laughs> take, take his briefs and put them in the briefcase? That's a great idea. Why didn't I think of that? Okay, we got our satchel. Great, okay, we now have access to life and living TV, which is nice. Ah, woodcraft, great. Uh, farming volume one, let's grab it. Perfect. Let's do uh, first aid volume one. I don't have uh, carpentry. All right, Thelma Fournier, I feel like uh, I've left the front door open, which is not great, but and I'm just sitting here reading, but let's just watch the rest of uh, Woodcraft, and then uh, we can... Um, there, look at that, no problem. And you know what? For once, we're not um, injured. Yeah, learning two topics at the same time. Yeah, it's crazy. Door frames, here we come. We've learned how to make uh, door frames. That's good. Okay, we'll leave that on. Let me close the door here now that I've evicted the, uh, the unwanted guests. There's hand torches. There's a toolbox we could grab and then put on the ground, right? Could drop this rolling pin. Put this in here. Where's the uh where did I put that toolbox? Does it go in the satchel? Oh, it's here, sorry. What's inside it? Oh, there's a saw. Nice. Perfect. Anything in here? Aha! Some tweezers. Okay. You never know when you might need them. There's some cigarettes, which uh, we need. Right, because we're a smoker. There's a dish towel. Some matches. Perfect. There's some fresh uncooked salmon and some ice cream in here. I'm cooking the salmon. Okay, fishing, great. We've got to get all these skill ups from the TVs while the TVs are still on, right? It's good. Look at that.
I could let it cook. I don't, I don't want to burn it and burn the whole house down, though. We're depending on this place for now, right? If the whole place burns down, that's no bueno. All right. Turning the oven back on. Oh, you can turn it on from up there. That's cool. So actually, you could just turn it off as soon as it's cooked, right? Oh, it's still burning, though. I guess the oven is still quite hot, isn't it? Okay, let's eat it. Mmm, freshly cooked salmon. Just what we needed. Perfect. Okay, let's drink some water. Ah, that's great. Okay. I've searched all these places, I'm pretty sure. There's nothing else in here. Great. Okay. And did I check the uh, the bookcase here, too? Is there anything that we need? No. Okay. So we can make our way to the... Uh, to the farmhouse we should probably try to grab some of the canned food but it's not here let's grab one hand torch as well we need a candle probably not right you think it's worth just like eating the ice cream or or keeping it here just in case like for another day Okay, let's go down to the farmhouse. This is such a nice little house. It's got all this place that you can uh, grow stuff in and whatnot. This is the way that we should have come with it, uh, Eddie, last time, right? It's a lot safer back here. What we'll try to do is we'll get to the farmhouse, clear it out, because hopefully there won't be that many uh, bad guys there. And then um, we can sleep there, because we can sleep up on the second floor, right? It's a little bit safer. It was a little bit ropey at the start there with the no visibility and there were quite a few zombies too. I, I didn't think we were going to make it. But luckily, you if you can get out to here at least, I feel like, this is where we were last time with Eddie, you can stabilize a little, you know. Put this in here. We got a bit of thread, luckily, too. All right, here we go. We made it. Almost. We're a little bit tired. No, this isn't the same map. We we restarted. If we do if we do same map, it's it's um you know, we'd just be able to, like, continue on with our base and stuff. We kind of want, like, one uh, one map per character, I think. I, I like the idea that you can find your old characters and they're zombified or whatever, but here, let's kill this guy. You got anything? rip all these clothes.
We did that one time, didn't we? Didn't we do it one time where we played the same map because we hadn't built anything? I suppose we, if we don't build anything, we could have just done the same map. But then you've got uh, some of the zombies are, are dead already and stuff too, which, I mean, isn't a huge problem. So it means like a map... I think past a certain point, though, you don't want to spawn in on the same map, right? Oh. Hey, look at this guy. He's got a huge duffel bag on him. It's a prisoner. I hope he's not tough. Turns out he's not very tough. Oh. He's very tough. I can't push him down anymore. I think he's exhausted. Jesus! It's the wet bandits. There's a bunch of them. I can't push this guy over. I can't really fight both of these guys at the same time, right? I might have to... Uh... Oh, I could maybe do this, though. If they... If they tumble over and they're prone. That's better. Okay. Prison jumpsuit. Woohoo! Okay, I'll grab that. Let's equip this on our back, the big duffel bag. This guy's got a duffel bag as well. Um, what's inside the duffel bag? Just some duct tape. You can like Tarkov it, right? Unpack the duffel bag. Do we need multiple duffel bags? Probably not, right? I don't know what was in there. Ripped sheets can go in there. Prison jumpsuit. McCoy's t-shirt. Key. Ketchup. Cigarettes and dirty rags. So I guess we put this key in here, right? Um, put in container corpse, equip on back, drop. How do you open up the, uh, satchel? Okay, I'm gonna wear these sneakers as well, I think. I mean, there's still somebody in here. Oh, it's locked. That's why I can't open it. All right. Just while I'm waiting for this guy to careful the glass, I know. Yeah. put all of this stuff in here. Makes sense, right? We can drop that. Anyone in here? Ooh. 
There's a tire pump, spare engine parts, and a light bulb. Metal sheets and scrap metal. There's a barbecue and an oven mitt in here. There's a chain and a map of rosewood. Nice. Grab that. Two empty gas cans and nails, screws, duct tape. There's a hammer, some planks, and rope. Ah, oh, that's good. Okay. Guy out. Hello. No, he's still working on it. So this guy has rope, <laughs> rip sheets, and duct tape in the duffel bag. <laughs> I love this. I love that that's a thing. Okay, let's put the life and living on. I liked it all three of them. Trapping volume one. Nice, okay. Some more pens. I don't know what they were doing here, but it looks like we've got some socks, long socks. There's a sewing kit and scissors as well. Okay, we're quite tired. There's a bunch of canned stuff here. There's a spoon, dish towel, and some pop. Dried split peas, dried chickpeas, and some and a and a bouillon cube. Nice. Let's check the fridge. Pickles and a jalapeno, and there's uh, some meat patty and some mixed vegetables. Not too hungry right now. to barricade this up. Alright, it is night time. Cool. Cooking. Trapping Volume 1. First Aid Volume 1. I don't have cooking. So let's read some first aid, some more first aid while we're learning some cooking. I love walk and rolls. <laughs> it does sound like Bill Clinton on the TV, you're right. Oh yeah, I should wash my uh, clothes. Uh, we should uh, check upstairs too. I haven't even cleared this house out. How far am I in this playthrough? Not far, this is our first day. I hear someone. Bath towel, beta blockers, black hair dye, cologne. There's a first aid kit, a sewing kit, and some tweezers. Hair gel, eyes makeup. Oh, there's some good stuff here. There's another satchel. There's another saw as well. There's 
There's nothing in this satchel. Uh, nothing in here. Round neck sweater, baggy jeans. Ooh, a belt. Nice. Red frilly underpants and pants. My favorite. I love that. What's this? A diamond patterned sweater vest. There's the shell suit jacket. <laughs> Amazing. And uh, just a normal jacket. What's in here? A pillow and some sheets. Mirror, plunger, there's some painkillers here. Another first aid kit. There's a toothbrush. Oh, some disinfectants as well. That's nice, actually. Yeah, great. This is really good. Okay, we should probably um, go to sleep. Because we're tired. All right, Thelma, good job. You survived. Let's eat some ketchup. I'll keep us going for a bit. And you know what? Let's wash it down with a bit of mustard. Mmm. That's nice. We're depressed because of this. Let's get some of this stuff into the, into the duffel. And um, we need to put some... Um, we need to move the TV up here, actually, would be good. But we're too tired. We'll have to do it in the morning. All right, let's sleep, yeah. <laughs> we're going to be overweight so fast? I know. I know. All this, all the ketchup and mustard, it's full of sugar. That's the problem. All right, good. Next job, let's move the TV up. Oh, we missed something. We find somewhere you can rest that sweet behind. Chairs, don't miss it. Okay, woodcraft. How do you, uh, how do you pick up furniture? Pick up. TV. Perfect. Um, how do you rotate it? Rotate. Oh, you got to place it first and then rotate it. sound good this does not sound good oh my okay house compromised we're under attack I still don't have a weapon I do have scissors but we're just gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way for now I think Anything good? It's got some red trunks. Oh yeah, gosh, there's a couple of them here, eh? I 
think he got me. No, he didn't, luckily. That was lucky. There's somebody around the other side of the house, but we're going to have to sweep and clear the whole damn thing. Oh my. We've got to be careful here because we're quite... Uh, we're carrying some weight on us. Bag too. I like that. Okay. Jesus. Let's see what's in this. Just some chocolate. Okay, we can eat all that. It'll help with our depression. All right, good. God, they really smashed up the place, huh? Did anyone go upstairs? The whole bottom floor is all smashed to bits now. That's annoying. I was just trying to rotate my TV. Let's keep all these doors closed so there's nowhere for them to hide. God, it's so annoying. Rotate the TV. Aha. Gotta hold the button. Okay, perfect. So this is tuned into Life and Living TV. Excellent. All right. Let's get some of our stuff. We'll use this as a little um, base for now, right? So let's get stuff that we need in here so that we're not carrying around all this extra stuff. Dirty rags. We can wear this. Classic wristwatch. We need a digital one, though, right? Because it'll tell us more stuff. Okay, painkillers. There's a McCoy shirt that we can rip. Let's wear this so that we don't have the Thelma. That looks great. Okay, let's wear this belt. Is it, it have have we worn it? It's weird, right? Like that it doesn't. Uh, Hammer, attach to belt left. Ah, okay, perfect. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's put these tapes in here too. We don't have a VCR yet. Hopefully we'll have one. Okay, all these rip sheets can mostly go in here, except we'll just carry around a couple with us. Duct tape, disinfectant, saw we don't need to carry around with us either. Okay, this is better. So, trapping, volume one, strapped shoes, sure. Scissors, sewing kit, thread, don't need with us. Rip sheets, more rip sheets that we don't need. Prisoner jumpsuit, hand torch, dirty rags, cigarettes. 
Rosewood, family, community, friendship. Nice. A nice map of Rosewood. So, where we started was around here, I believe. Um, and we... Oh, no. It w must have been around here, right? Because I think we cut through here, cut through here, and then we went along here to get to the road, and then we followed the road up. Oh, the TV has a VCR in it. The Value Tech Television. Oh, yeah. No tape. Okay, we can watch our tapes later as well if we want to. What is this? We'll never know. Okay, good. So, Rosewood Map is not needed anymore. This is not needed anymore. Okay, let's clean all these rags. Yeah, so now that we've read that uh, map of Rosewood, our map updates, right? So we can actually see the rest of where uh, we were. We should, uh, we should have already had a bit of it on our map, but now it'll reveal the rest of it. Okay, yeah, let's wash all of our clothing as well. Good idea. We're ravaged by mourning and desperation, apparently. And we're quite agitated because we haven't smoked. We'll have to have a smoke. And we need a drink of water too. We're dehydrating fast. All clean. Okay, let's have a drink. All right, Thelma. Looking good, looking good. All right, let's smoke. Oof. It might be nice to have like a chair up here too. I'll go get one. Let's get one of these comfy chairs. Let's place this chair here, and then we can rotate the chair. Yeah, look at that. Pretty nice, pretty good. So now we can like sit on the chair, watch the TV, and we can read our books. Okay, I'll read this first aid book. There. Perfect. We got fishing, farming. We're learning first aid. We need something to uh, cheer us up. And we need to eat as well. And we need to drink too. Let me finish reading this You're book. Doing great, Dad. Hey, Sips. I've been working on an indie game for a few years. It's finally on Steam, but not released yet. If you'd like to check it out, it's called Rogue Knight. Ah. If you want a Steam key, let me know. I know how much you like free stuff. I do. Gosh, you're right. Hey, uh, Grey November Games. Okay, thank you very much. And thank you so much for the thousand bits as well. Okay, we got to eat something. What else have we got here? We got some pickles that we can eat. 
I don't think we can cook pickles. And what about eating this jalapeno fresh? Um, there's some mixed vegetables, fresh frozen, and also um, a fresh uncooked meat patty. If we're still hungry. Sure. We gotta defrost it first. Now we're cooking the patty. Now we're doing it. Okay, let's eat this patty. That should do the trick for us. It might make us less depressed as well. I'm not sure. Need a can opener. All right, good. Feeling nice. Oh, you got to... You've got to take all the items out of the container first. Oh my. I didn't mean to disassemble it, actually. I just wanted to pick it up, but... I guess he can't carry a full bookcase. All right, first aid volume one is uh, done. So we can maybe just put uh, our finished books in here. Belt, cigarettes, hand torch, matches, lots of pins and ripped sheets as well. All right, ripped sheets. Let me just grab a couple of ripped sheets. Just in case we get uh, hurt while we're out there. Okay, good, 4.64 out of 16. It's great, there's not really much tweezers, thread. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's an ad. Okay, so first aid is red. Um, let's get trapping as well. We're a bit thirsty again. Oh yeah, we're, uh, of course we are. We're, uh, we're thirsty. We're, we're, we're thirsty. Thirsty people, right? It's one of our, uh, it's one of our negative um, traits. Oh, you need to be a carpenter to move wood, wood objects. What skill in carpentry do I need to uh, be able to move bookcases without ripping them apart? We're getting a little tired now. Higher than zero. I think I have uh, one skill in carpentry, actually. Yeah, I do. Look. Carpentry level one unlocked. You're doing great, Dad! From watching Sips. TV. Mate, I've had an awful last few days. I have a bad case of COVID plus strep throat simultaneously. Oh. The hospital gave me some very strong meds which make me high and loopy. Oh, so no. I'm loving the stream and will be watching all week from bed, mate. Oh, mate. mate. Jim, I'm so sorry to hear that, Jim. Mate, I hope you can feel better, mate. Okay, I think the next TV show is on in a minute, and then we can sleep. Because it's like 6 o'clock, right? 6 in the morning and 6 at night. 
I'm pretty sure. We're hungry again. Holy crap. I mean, it is 5.30 in the morning. We're going a bit loopy here as well. Okay, what's on TV now? Bzzzt. There we go. Cooking. Oh, this is going to be great. Okay, and uh, Trapping Volume 1 is red. Put this hand torch in. Oh, you can move the batteries. Nice. I don't think we want to have this equipped in our secondary, right? Necessarily. I'm not planning on going out in the dark that often. The salad special. Okay, boredom is going down. Skills in cooking are going up. All right, we got a skill in cooking. All right, let's go to bed. And then we can have something to eat when we wake up because we're quite tired. 6.40 in the morning. I don't know if you can attach the the uh, torch to your, to your belt. I don't think that's a thing. All right. Okay, well, we've survived a, a couple of days now at the old farmhouse here. It's not so bad. Do these need to be boiled in a pot? I don't think there is a pot. Maybe I can just chuck it in here and hope for the best. You get boredom plus 30 and unhappiness plus 30 as well. Eating them frozen? 271 calories though, it's pretty nice. Oh. Okay. All right. I think we should go. Oh, let me just deposit this uh, book. Let's go up to um, Trapping Volume 1. Done. Okay, good. Whew. Okay. I don't think we want to leave the uh, the door and window to this place open, just in case. We can leave some of this stuff out here, though. It's fine. Some rope. I don't think I need rope just yet. There's a gas can in there, but we don't have a car, so we don't really need to worry about that. Fucking hell. There's <laughs> quite a few zombies over there. Just a, just a few. Okay. Oh, yeah, look at Rosewood. It's huge. The prison is here, I think. I don't know what's here. Rosewood's quite... Well, I know it's not huge, but it, to me, it's big. We probably would never be able to even clear out Rosewood, honestly. All right. We should go back to those houses that we started at and uh, loot them to see if there's anything worthwhile there and um, work our way up through the rural areas and um, loot some of those um, little houses. And there's um, there's definitely that fresh vegetable store as well, right, that we could potentially hit. We might luck out and find a vehicle up there, but I don't know. It's worth having a look, I guess. into the military base it is. We should try to get there before uh, 6 o'clock because there's uh, another TV show on. We can have another TV party. I think we should make it there in time. No problem.
This this way up to those uh, houses is um, a lot safer than the road. I I Eddie would still be alive right now, honestly, if we'd taken this way. Or maybe he would have died somewhere a little bit more exciting than on the side of the road to four zombies while he was holding a baseball bat with multi-hit on. Hey, Jim, thanks so much for the 10, and I hope that you'll feel better soon. I haven't been playing any BGs, Jim. Do you know what? Uh, guess what rabbit hole I went down this weekend? I've been watching... Um, people who are really good at Apex Legends. I've been, I, I got suckered into all those videos. This is what 18,000 Wraith kills looks like. This is what 25,000 Watson kills look like. And it's just people climbing up and down ropes and falling down elevator shafts and shooting people in midair. Fade, yeah. Fade was one of them that I watched quite a bit actually. I don't know, like, uh, cause my, my neck is still quite sore. And uh, I basically have to like lay in one position just to get relief from the pain. It's kind of it's kind of nice to just watch somebody zipping around in a in a game just murdering everybody. It's it's good. I enjoyed it. Okay, we can cut across here into this house, and I think we'll make it. Whoa. We'll make it just in time for our favorite TV show. Uh, sounds like they dropped the bomb over there. That's a huge one. Oh shit. Gotta run. The show's on. Jolly good! Jolly good fish and chips! Authentic British cuisine! Try our new biscuit and gravy menu! Bottomless iced tea. Come today. Okay. Welcome back to Exposure Survival. Oh, boy. This is good. Yep. Fishing. More fishing. All we got to do is find a river. What mighty river runs around here. Oh, we didn't even get the full skill up. That's annoying. Okay. Magazine could be helpful for boredom reduction. Yeah. Newspaper for boredom and stress as well. Oh, let's grab this eraser too. Okay, the rest of that stuff we do not need. Nothing in here. Candle, sheet of paper, and wire. Sure. It's another magazine. And a dish towel. I'll have a quick drink while I'm here. Um, let's, uh, let's eat all this ice cream. That's good. That tastes delicious. Apex really good with the perks. That's new, right? The uh, the new CISO. What was that on the uh, on the side? Eyes makeup, antibiotics. I almost missed these. Holy crap! Okay, we'll definitely take those. All right. So I think we're quite happy that this place is looted, right? Terry. I don't think there's anything else there, loot-wise. I mean, there's some dismantling to be done for sure. We'll get to that. I know Terry's ma really making a racket back here. All right. I left the door open. Huge no-no, I know. Nothing in here. There's a orange and an avocado and a bunch of frozen stuff. How long uh, does frozen stuff last for realistically? There's a bunch of canned food here too that I could do with taking back. Crossword magazine, sure. Uh, 
Ah, fuck it. Let's just take all this stuff and just hope that it lasts. Hope it doesn't uh, defrost in the bag. It's good food, right? Okay, do not have a can opener, but we're going to hopefully find one. Nothing there. Alright, so I think we're f we're happy that this place is looted as well. How did my pants get dirty again? I'll just go grab the... Uh oh no, there is no more food in here, is there? Let me just make sure that there's no food left in here. There's nothing in the freezer because I ate the ice cream, right? Oh, there's still a little bit left, actually. I should take that with me. All right. And then is there any canned stuff here as well that I could take? No, there's not. Okay. Do we want to pick up this barbecue? All right, we're a bit overweight now. But that's okay. Luckily, we didn't break our um break or bend our wookie on the way over the fence there. All right, good. Those houses are looted. There's quite a few zombies near our um, our farmhouse that we probably need to kill at some point. But I mean, I got that I got a hammer, but it would be nice to just have like a sniper rifle or you know, like a bow and arrow or like a nuke or something, so that I don't have to um, fight like too many of them at once. Just like a mini nuke would be good. There's some cool crossbow mods. So you could be like um like Daryl in um The Walking Dead. The Walking Daryl. I could chop down trees, but I don't have an axe. I'd have to go find one. I do have a barbecue, though. Why doesn't this game have music? It it has music sometimes, Erica, not all the time. I think it I think it's quite well done actually how the music kind of plays when stuff is happening and then there isn't any when there's nothing happening. Does this, uh, I didn't even check to see if we already had a barbecue back here. I don't think we do, actually. No. There isn't one. All 
All right. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Should probably unlock that. Okay, let me put this stuff in the fridge and freezer before it goes bad. Category food. Ice cream can go in the freezer. This can go in the freezer. Mix vegetables fresh. Uh, orange fresh. Steak can go in here too. All right, and then there's just the canned stuff. Okay, we'll put all this in here. Ooh. Antibiotics, nice. And painkillers. Rip sheets. Okay, crossword magazines and stuff, we can probably take. Is there like a little um, cabinet or something? We're a bit thirsty. Ah, what about this thing? Carpentry 2 we need to pick up this thing. That's annoying. There's a crate here that we could potentially use. Can we pick this up? Oh, there's a 67.5% chance for it to... It broke. Did it break? Yeah, it did. <laughs> it did. It really broke. That's annoying, eh? Okay, long dark table, we can't disassemble either. What's this? Sleeping tablets? Nice! Okay. Are we bored or anything? No, we're not really. Put some of this stuff away. We can rip this pillow. What was it uh, in this game? There used to be a... Um... What happens if you unpack a pillow? What do you get? Pillow. Remember at the at the start of the game, I think it's like a scenario or whatever, and your is it your wife who's dying and you can smother her with a pillow? Was that in this game or is it in something different? Am I remembering something different? Oh, the old tutorial. Ah, okay. old tutorial we're getting a tad weepy is it natural to be a tad weepy at this point in the game at 11 30 at night Okay, let's read Fishing Volume 1. 
until we're tired. We're hungry again and thirsty. There's plenty of good ice cream in the freezer, though. It might help us with our um, feeling a little bit sad. What about a what about a three a.m. trip down to the kitchen? We should move the fridge up here. Actually, it would be even better, right? I don't think we can move the sink up here, though. I don't think I can plumb it. But there is a sink. Uh, maybe we can knock through the wall and make an ensuite bathroom. That could be kind of good too. Got to board up uh, some of these windows and stuff. Okay, so fishing volume one is done. I need some nails. I need a can opener as well. Okay, I'm gonna eat this avocado. And this orange as well. The fresh stuff could spoil faster, right? Than the frozen stuff has a chance to. Okay, it's 5 a.m. You know what that means. Yeah, we could probably knock through uh, an ensuite here, right? How do you do it? Pick up, place, disassemble. How do you how do you sit down? How do you um, get rid of a wall? Oh, you need a sledge. Of course you do. I forgot about that. Yeah. All right, so fishing is done. Let's grab um, farming volume one, fishing volume two. The hunter magazine. We can read that quick. Um, and then let's also grab Farming? Sure. You can read that while the TV is on, right? Okay, that's more cooking. Alright, now let's sleep. We need to reset our sleep schedule a little. We need to play the song, Sledgehammer. I love that one. Okay, Farming Volume 1, we've read a little bit of. The Hunter Magazine has been read. Yes. Need some planks and nails. I think we got some actually. Nice. How do I get rid of this? Oh. We got a couple of nails from that's good. I need a saw for that, which I do have one. A 
Nothing in here. There's a couple of bits and pieces in here that we can move upstairs. Let me have a quick smoke. Hey, Robert Johnson, thank you so much for making this little game. Oh, shit. I, I might take that back in a minute if these guys kill me, though. Jeez! <laughs> Robert Johnson. <laughs> Robert Johnson. The base has been compromised. Oh, I killed two of them there. That's good. This is the way to do it, right? For now. Just to just to be safe. Whew. Oh, gee whiz. Aha, a black digital watch. Okay, let's put this one on the on the right wrist. Now we can see the temperature and stuff too. Great. Dev just saw the fence cheese. No, come on. In a real, uh, in a real world zombie apocalypse scenario. They're sh they shamble, right? Like that—that that is a legitimate way to uh, to catch him. Okay, here we go. Look. Oh, a face, a face bandana. Nice. It'll keep the uh, it'll keep the stink out. Was that a choker that I just saw? A black choker? Hell yes. Now we're... Okay, there's still quite a few over there. I guess these guys just wandered in. I don't know. I don't know if we can lure some of these guys over to take them out and not the rest of them. It looks like this is possible. I love that. Okay, fine. There's a lot of uh, fabric potentially out here that I don't need to worry too much about just yet. This gate. Let's see if we can take this guy too. Oh. I mean, this is a job that we kind of need to do anyway, so maybe it's it's good to be doing it now. Pencil, red spots, underpants. Mmm, nice. This guy's got a jacket, but we've already got jacket we're kind of looking for like uh 
Probably boots, right? And some... Uh, just some more uh, protection from scratches and stuff. Hey, um, Craig Quill, thank you so much for 350 czars. I don't know what a czar is, but apparently it's like 25 US dollars or something. <laughs> thank you, Craig Quill. Thanks. Yeah, it's fantasy money. Okay, there's still quite a few of them over here, but maybe I can peel one or two of them off at a time. There's a couple of cow sheds up there, but I don't think there's anything in them. But just kind of getting this area over here cleared up is uh, is worth it, right? We want to be nice and safe. We want to feel nice and safe in our in our little makeshift base. There's a few of them on the move. I haven't really explored down here yet cuz I think we hit the yeah, there's a couple here. Okay. Let's just wait for these guys. Hopefully they don't sneak up on me. But we're safe for now. Cool. Oh my. Oof, close one. Very close. Um, anything good here? No, no. And... No. Shoes. God, I thought I got bit on the ankle there, yeah. I actually thought we might have been game over for a minute. How's this hammer doing? It's in great condition, actually, considering it has, has destroyed quite a few zombies. Maybe all the disassembling uh, attracted them. Maybe the noise of me disassembling stuff attracted that pack in the first place. Let's see. Uh, there's two of them here. Uh, can you can you get over this? Oh yeah, you can, but it goes into the bushes, which is kind of annoying. Oh, there's three. Yeah, there's four. Fuck. Where are we coming from? All right, let's try it. Uh, this is good practice. We need to be able to do this kind of stuff, right? The, you know, kill them when they come over fences and stuff. Black digital watch, red trunks. These guys wear some exciting underpants. We get sneaking skill from being so close to them too, right? And sneaking. Robert Johnson has given me a key to raffle off for this game. Okay, type in zombie if you want to win a copy of the game. Thank you, Robert Johnson. Thanks so much. Almost got me. 
Make sure you say thanks to Robert Johnson. Jeez. Doesn't always work, eh? This guy has a wallet. So is a wallet a container? No, it's not. Okay, he's... I, I, so many close calls there, really. Like, probably too many close calls. Thank you, Robert Johnson! Uh, Jim is thanking you so much, Robert Johnson. Okay, I need a screwdriver to disassemble a door. Um, what do I need to disassemble or to pick up this? Oh, I can pick it up. I have the skill to pick it up. It just has a chance to break. How do I lower this chance to break? Just with a higher skill of carpentry? Hey, Craig Quill, thanks once again for the 140 czars. Thank you so much, Craig Quill. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, we got to eat some. I need a can opener, too, actually. Oh, I got some tea coming out, chat. Um, we could just eat these mixed vegetables. Probably fine. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll thaw them out. I know. <laughs> Thank you. Seriously. Thanks very much. I know, I can hear, like, it sounds like there's things crashing into the garage and stuff. It's so windy. Terry's hungry. No, he hasn't. That's why he's going bananas. Thank you. Yeah, Terry's gonna eat. It should be, it should be less, uh, less noisy back there. Okay, let's eat these mixed vegetables. Turn off the oven as well. All right, we have to start boarding up some of these windows and stuff, right? I need some nails. I need some nails, and I need some more planks. Hey, what's up, Boba? Good night, Milsheen. And I need a weapon? I don't know. I mean, I'm doing okay with my trusty hammer here. I know. I know. He is he's so annoyed. He's trying to escape now as well. Just put the bag in the yeah. He tries to escape. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> he's like a tank. I don't think we're getting anything from this, but we are getting some carpentry skill, I think, from doing this. Oh, there's some nails on the ground, actually. I can see some nails on the ground. Terry, you do not want us to have an intervention. Yeah, remember last time, Terry. Oh, 
Well, at least he's got food. <laughs> look, at, look at him. <laughs> okay, what did we get? We got some nails. We got two planks. Pretty good. There's some boxes with red stripes in here. I don't know if we need that. I got the barbecue, but I don't even know if we really need that. Uh, there's a bouillon cube and some dried chickpeas and dried split peas. Good for hunger, but they make you thirsty and unhappy. So we'll maybe use those as a desperate uh, last resort. There's a pop here, which actually gives you... Uh, ooh. Look at this pop. Oh, it's helped. It cured the blues. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's actually 10 o'clock at night. Okay, planks. Planks. We need some more uh, nails, right? I can't disassemble a door without a screwdriver. Do not want to uh, smash windows. I need to actually need to barricade some of these other windows that have been done in. And what do I need for this? Oh, I can actually disassemble the couch with my saw. Yeah, I'll play Supermarket Simulator again for sure. I might wait until it's uh, been updated a little bit. I think for, uh, for like, you know, for like a base um, game though, it's pretty good. It's got a lot going for it. It's a, it's a, it's a good one. It's a little bit dangerous working so close to this open window, right? Just to, it takes us like an arm to reach through. So we've already taken out a, a handful of prisoners, which is exciting. Nails. Grab all. How many nails do I got? I got five nails now from all this. There's more disassembling that can be done in those other houses and stuff too, right? I can't in disassemble this though. Can I disassemble this? Yeah, I can actually. You're doing great, Dad! Clack, I can clack, and I clack. should. Clack, clack, clack. Clack, clack. Fucking clack, clack. Clack, clack. Hey, Chonkers, thanks so much for the 10. I appreciate it. I'm clacking here. Hey, I'm clacking here. Just scrap wood from that. Um... Okay, blue plastic chair, I can't do. More scrap wood from that. I could disassemble these twin beds. Anything? One plank. There's a short sleeve shirt here as well. Okay, good. Metal shelves, I can't disassemble either. scrap wood all right oh I don't need to go all the way downstairs to drink I can drink here all right what else have we got to read farming volume one all right I'll have a quick smoke Stay on top of the smoking. Got to. Um, and, um, oh yeah, we read this one.
I might as well just read this right and then go to bed. We're thirsty, but not tired yet. We're in such a bad routine. Maybe the sleeping pills will uh, will help us with our bad routine, right? I'm not even tired. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. All right, good. Let's go find something to eat. <laughs> All this devastation down here. <laughs> Nice. Uh, what else have we got to eat? We got uh, some ice cream that we can eat. Why not? The 4 a.m. ice cream fridge raid. What, three? Or is it just two fine? I might not have enough um, great, nails. I'm adulting today, you some bitch. I'll be listening to your fucking clacking all day. Clacking? Love you, Sipsy. Hey, thank you so much, Chonkers. Thanks for the ten. I appreciate it. All right, farming volume one is done. The hunter magazine is done. Uh, plank we can drop. It's uh, nails that I lack, right? So I need some more nails. Just so much clacking. I know it's just just having a big clack attack. Uh, the oak counter, the white sink, I need a propane torch and a welder mask to get rid of. Let's grab all this junk from down here. There's nothing in here in this little storage cupboard. There's just a washing machine over there. Yeah, I know. Well, all the windows are busted out because the uh, the zombies um, busted them. They got us. Okay, black hair dye, first aid kit, sewing kit we'll hang on to. Those we'll hang on to. Tweezers just in case. Cologne, an empty pop can. All this stuff can just go in here. It's fine. Matches, cigarettes, tweezers, blockers. A sewing kit, a first aid kit. This is all stuff that we can carry around with us, right? It's useful stuff. Okay, now we're tired, but it's almost time for our favorite shows. So we should go to bed after our favorite shows. We could start uh, reading uh, Fishing Volume 2. No, my skill level's too low to read Fishing Volume 2. What else do we have? We've got a word search magazine and a bottle of disinfectant. Fishing volume two. Fishing volume two, we're gonna have to go out and try to find some more stuff soon, right? Where can we go next? We've stored we've we've cleared out a lot of the zombies that were here, so we could check out the cow barns. Further up from here, there's this road and then if you remember, there's the another house that's a little bit more isolated. And then further up from that, there was a place where we could potentially get some seeds and fertilizer. Which is exciting. Very exciting. All right. Let's sit down. Fast forward to our favorite shows. It looks like it's cooking again, which we got a skill up in. It's nice.
Okay. Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed and hope that our house doesn't get attacked in the night. It did not. All clear? Looks like it's all clear. All right, we gotta find some more furniture to disassemble. I need more nails. We can transport planks back to the house if we need to. Oops. be it for me. Oh, God. We might get an infection from that. I can't believe it. Polo neck sweater? No, we don't need any of that. Jesus Christ. It's awkward um, dealing with them when they come over the fence. Sometimes. Okay, we're in a bit of pain from that, so we could probably take some painkillers. Which will help. And then maybe also just uh, calm down with a, um, a smoke out in the field. There's a couple here. Alright, let's see if we can clear out towards those cow sheds a little. We have to keep an eye on um, this bite. We have a first aid kit that we can um, unpack. It's got painkillers in it. It's got some antibiotics, some sleeping tablets. No, that's all stuff I had already. Ripped sheets. Is there anything else out here? This is just a big cow pasture. I don't think there's anything in the shed, but, I mean, we can go have a look. There might be some zombies around here. Uh, last time we checked, there wasn't anything in there, but... You never know, right? It's all random. No, there's nothing here. We could disassemble this, though. It's a little risky. Just scraps. Ooh. Oh, man. It's all the farm hands. We can try to pull a couple over. Ooh. God. Mm. 
nothing. Why are there so many of them just out in these fields? Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> nice. It's nice to be able to one-shot them, actually. Reading glasses. All right. More protection. I won't say no. Is anyone else up here? No. Oh, here they both come. There's a couple of trees that we could potentially chop down when the when the time comes. Again? Just cannot get this guy at all? What the hell? Um, right. Let's remove this bandage. It's weird, sometimes like it works and sometimes it, it really doesn't, right? You're doing great, Dad! Yo, Sips. Yo! My girlfriend walked into the living room today and threw a pair of jeans and socks at me. Right. She said you left these on the floor again. You treat this place like a hotel. Right. I said, that is a lie. I've never fucked your sister in this house. <laughs> Joshua, that is an awful joke. Thank you so much, though. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I don't know if I can boil um, any of these um, sheets to make um, sterile stuff, because I don't have a pot. I looked for uh, kitchen utensils when we were last out, and I didn't see any. So we'll have to go and get some from somewhere else, potentially. Anyway, I just ate a ton of ice cream, so that's good, at least. So the first cow shed just had a table in it that we disassembled. And we've killed a couple of zombies out here in the field. And I think there's more. There was more out here, right? We didn't clear all of these. There was quite a few. I think we just pulled a couple off of the uh, big pack. A fair few. No one saw me. Uh, yeah, a couple did. There's another cow shed here. Whoa. 
is so, it's so awkward. Okay, we got them. Jesus. There's uh, some heart boxers here with some reading glasses. Let's just rip this guy's underpants clean off. All right, there's one coming towards me here. That went really well. Shoes. No. No. There's pink frilly underpants, though. And pink frills, the strapless bra. You never know. We might want to get a little crazy later. Okay. It's more coming. Oh, gosh. From every angle. Some more? Okay. Did you hear that the guy who invented Velcro died? No. R.I.P. I just burned 2,000 calories. That's the last time I take a bath with the brownies in the <laughs> oven. I accidentally took my cat's meds today. Don't ask me how. Okay, that will do less than three. Joshua, <laughs> thanks, I think, for the ten. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my God, man. All right, we are in a little bit of pain still. Joshua, thank you so much. Don't ask meow. Don't ask meow. I like that. That's good. Perfect. Jacket, briefs, uh, boxers, sneakers, just mainly just like sneakers and stuff, right? Which, holy crap, we killed a lot of them though. There's nothing else around here, so we should be free to dismantle this table in the cow barn. Let me just have a quick look up here. I know there was some guys coming in from here at one point. No. Okay, good. Yeah, nails. Good. Scrap wood, not so much. I think we can probably dismantle the walls and stuff from, from this too, eventually. Or, if not now, I think I probably can now. Whoa. Oh, look at that. They actually react to that sound. I think I can just... Ooh, light-footed, nice. I think I can just about handle them when they're coming up over the fences and stuff, but... With the hammer, it's still a bit of a slog taking one of them down, right? Yeah, there's a few of them out here still.
Nice. Boxers, jeans, and shoes. Sneakers. Do you think sneakers are better than shoes? Or does it, there, is there not much in it? It probably doesn't really matter, right? I need an axe. Yes, I, well, yes, I do. You're right. I do need an axe. If I could find an axe. Sometimes you can find them, like, in the uh, backs of zombies, right? Like, they, they'll have an axe in their back, for example. That would be good. Black, uh, a bloody jacket, a baseball cap, briefs and baggy jeans, sneakers. Okay, well, we've made it as far as the road. Yep. We made it to our mailbox. You're doing great, Dad! I never believed in my chiropractor. But now I stand corrected. Two weeks ago I sent my hearing aid in for repair. I've heard nothing since. Finally, whoever stole my copy of Microsoft Office. I will find you. You have my word. Appreciate your sips. Love. I appreciate you too, Joshua. Thanks so much for the 10. Uh, good ones, good ones. Um, no, nothing. Okay. And we're not, uh, oh, I should probably rebandage myself, right? All right, let's go get some water. Good, uh, good zombie clearing. Holy crap, we've actually, uh, we, Thelma's off on one. With just a hammer. What are we going to do when uh, we don't no longer have a hammer? We're going to have to find another one. It is very convenient that all these zombies are my shoe size. Yeah, you're right about that. That is very convenient. Home sweet home. Doesn't look like we've had any intruders, although there is a window that's still compromised. So, could be. Alright, how far did we make it over there? To all of the, um, the cow sheds? Let me start working our way into Rosewood a little bit, maybe? I don't know if I can do it. I don't think I'm equipped. I hope there's a lot of fences there. I might be able to do it with some fences. Okay, let's attempt to clear out uh, our little road that leads on to the big road. Because there's probably some zombies along here, I would have thought. It's 10.30 at night, but the temperature is fine. The visibility is really good, too. It must be a full moon or something, because you know, I can see as clear as day out here. I have, a, I have some disinfectant. And I have some antibiotics for the uh, the wound if it gets infected, which is likely to. OK, 
Okay, it looks like our driveway and the road is pretty clear. So we only really need to worry about stuff following me back, which is obviously a worry. Ooh, there's a car here. And, um, and just uh, general migrations as well, right? farming stuff potato seeds and the farming magazine nice that's pretty good that's pretty good Quite a few zombies here. No fence in sight. If we can get the push, works too, but we just don't want too many of them. There's quite a few of them there with no uh, no natural obstacles to help me. All right. Let's head back with uh, some of our, some of the stuff that we found, right? See, make sure that nothing's following us. Go eat some ice cream and watch some TV at 6 a.m. Because now it is getting pretty dark. Getting a little thirsty. God, I need a can opener so bad. Terry's eating all his food and he's on the warpath again. Once again. Once again, he's on the warpath. Alright, home sweet home. This time with some more stuff. Uh oh. That didn't sound good. Is that the water done? Thanks a lot, eh? You too. Does that mean that the water is uh, is running out? Oh. There's something on. Alright, what did we pick up? Cabbage seeds, potato seeds, farming volume 2, and the farming magazine. Two copies, ripped sheets, seeds, empty watering can, 
I don't have a shovel, so I can't do anything with this stuff right now. Oh, it is infected. I have a bottle of disinfectant. I can disinfect a rag and then put the sterilized rag on. Nice. So with the bottle of disinfectant, I can make um, more rags. Perfect. That's great. That's great. I don't think I have anything else that I can uh, read, though, right now. i got magazines and stuff, but I don't have any. What about satin and silk? There, look, we can we can watch our favorite movie. I bet Maxine told you all about me, didn't she, Freddy? No. You're a fucking liar, Freddy. <laughs> Do I have a, a Jersey Bachelet? <laughs> oh, did you watch? Did you guys watch? Uh, did you watch The Apprentice last week? Did you see the Jersey one? It was pretty good, wasn't it? A hundred and five pounds for a for a sweater with an anchor on it. So good. Okay, let's tune back into Living TV. What what am I supposed to do? Maybe I take these sleeping pills so that we can uh, adjust our sleep schedule a bit more, right? Get more of the day. There, seven o'clock in the morning. Perfect. We missed our favorite shows, but that's better. Look, we got the we got some daylight that we can work with. Perfect. Clean up the glass. Can you even? Ooh. It's bandaged and not dirty. We got some sterilized um ripped sheets now. Oh, if you have gloves, you can clean the glass? Okay, I don't have any gloves yet. All right, fine. Let's see if we can start clearing out this gas station. It's the closest building to us. Get in there, get some stuff, and maybe get a car. Make things a lot easier. We can load up a car. Should have had a drink before I left. Now we're going to be dehydrated while we're out here.
There's been a murder here. Look at all the blood, too. Alright, let's see if these guys are still here. They maybe have moved on. Have they moved on? No, they are still there. Should be able to just sneak past them. Pretty sure the gas station is this side of the road. There is one dead zombie in the road. Not sure if that's one that I killed or not. Black trunks. Wallet. Long snock. <laughs> snocks? Long snocks. Long s socks and sneakers. Yeah, Eddie is deady, unfortunately, but Thelma is, is kind of doing it. Let's see if we can pull, peel some of these ones off. God, there's quite a few of them outside the gas station here. Might have to chance it I mean if we could even just touch the concrete of the gas station holy crap what an achievement oh my lord I've done it I'm actually walking on concrete that's not part of my farmhouse I'm actually quite sneaky look no alarms All right, this is going to be our first big place to loot. We can clear the area somewhat and actually access this place. It would be nice. Oh, it's open. Wowzers. Okay, there's a whole bunch of VHS tapes here. Wow. Ooh. All this candy. Take about as much as I can for now. There's some magazines and stuff here. It might be some good stuff to read later. Newspaper. Oh. Loads of maps. I don't know if there's anybody in here. There's lots of water bottles. Are these? Oh, those trash cans are outside. Okay, let's go. Actually got a decent amount of stuff there. We can take some of it back and come back for more. If we're feeling a bit braver. We don't want to be uh, overburdened uh, with stuff. Oh, what's this? It's like a power transformer. Is this a, pa is this a transformer station? Must be, right? It's nice being able to drink water on the go. Uh, I don't know if these this is accessible in any way. It looks like we could potentially get in there, but it is pretty secure. We'd need a key probably, right? Yeah, I don't have a key for that.
Holy crap. That's great. How's my wound? It's looking fine. It hasn't given me any jip all day. I think we've done pretty good actually to clear out this area. We have a nice safe route to the uh, to the gas station. And if we don't draw too much attention, we might even uh, be able to clear out the gas station, or most of it. If we could get access to some cars and stuff, holy crap, we'd be... We'd be off on one. We've got a couple of bottles of water. We could really do with making some... Um, rain catchers right to get s to have a supply of water we won't be able to do any plumbing but when the water cuts off we're definitely going to want to have some water to fill up our bottles with right we got lots of candy yes Anybody home? <laughs> Is anybody there? <laughs> um, I would like to pick up this. Oh, we need carpentry too to pick these up. Okay, I can't pick them up just yet then. Is there anything in these? Nope. Oh, yeah, all my uh, canned foods. Oh, we got a roasting pan as well, so we could potentially put some meat in the roasting pan, make a big meal if we wanted to. Some shooting. God, there's so many pops as well. It's good. Look at all the food we got. Some beef jerky, some black licorice, some chips, choco cakes, chocolate itself, granola bars, pretty good. Probably to carry around with us. Gum for unhappiness, gummy worms, his his, hi his, his his, jelly beans, some orange soda, some pop. Let's put our pops and orange sodas in here right be good chocolate and everything else so we can have like a candy drawer under the sink the roasting pan Riverside, Pride of the Mighty Ohio. Nice. Muldraw, Kentucky. This is that uh, this is this is our old stomping ground, right? March Ridge map. I don't know where this is. March Ridge, your country, your home. Community services, retail and commercial, industrial. Okay. There's a Louisville map here as well. Louisville. And there's an annotated map of West Point. Gonna avoid anywhere near home. Don't look for me here. Spiffo's manager used to keep a shotgun in store. Crazy motherfucker knew what was coming. Untouched hardware place. Oh, okay. Good to know, good to know. So what does our map look like now then? Oh, neat. Look at all these places. So this is, um, what was this place called again? It's not far from here. I mean, it's down the road. I mean, it's a drive, but... That's Fartville. 
Okay. That's where we need to head. I love farting, and I love the sound of Fartville as well. As well. Okay, let's start eating some of these these um, gas station things, right? Farming magazine has been read. Oh shit. I think my favorite shows are on. A table with a drawer in it, right? That make you yeehaw? Makes me yeehaw anyways. <laughs> a lady could keep her valuables in it. Maybe a Bible, maybe a gun. Five planks, four nails, go! Oh, if we get uh, level two carpentry, we might actually be able to move some of this stuff. Okay, I don't think I got any skills from that. Close though. God, so close actually. Did I not close my front door? Yeah, I definitely did. I closed it. It's fine. Alright, let's drop some more stuff off here. Mainly stuff that uh, I've already checked, right? All this stuff. Um, belt, first aid kit. There's nothing in there. Okay, I've got this whole collection of underwear as well now that I can probably store. And then we can maybe head back out to the gas station, see if we can do some more stuff out there. I'm going to store uh, clothing on this side. Okay, I put the pink frilly underpants and the strapless matching strapless bra on as well nice got my mantis <laughs> got my mantis on okay i need a screwdriver would be nice oh hold on a second as well okay water bottle is full I've got three water bottles on me and some other crafting stuff that I don't need. So let me, I think one water bottle is more than enough. And we've got these ones in case we need them. Water bottle. You can't put your water bottle in your belt right, unfortunately. Oh, look, it's different parts of Louisville. I guess Louisville's quite big, isn't it? Is the duffel bag full? Oh, no, it's in the duffel bag already. That's why. Tweezers, erasers, pens, ripped sheets. And torch. OK, 
Okay. Sure. So now we have more stuff on the map. Oh yeah, look at that. God, Louisville is huge. Look at the size of it. So this place we're familiar with, right? This is uh, Mul Muldraw. So there's a police station, a gas station and stuff. And then there's all the, the little houses and stuff. This is where we used to play. Or is it here? This is Muldraw up here, right? This is the gas station and this is the police station. And then up here is all the houses and stuff that we used to loot and stuff. In uh, years ago, in previous runs, I should say. Oh, I'm hungry again. Okay, I ate a granola bar. Hopefully that's enough to keep us going. It's only uh, 2.20 in the afternoon, so we should be able to do another um, dip into the gas station and see what's going on there. Do I have enough smokes? For now, I do, yeah. But I'll pick up some more smokes at the gas station, hopefully. We didn't get behind the uh, the counter because uh, I was I was too too scared. There was too many zombies around at the time. Where are we now? We're just outside of Rosewood right now. If you want to look at the at the map, we're at this farmhouse just outside of Rosewood. So here, which we could mark with a little um, safe house. This is not the third character, Giso. This is the second character. Behind us is um, Deddy Monroe. This is um, this is uh, Thelma Fournier. A very strong French Canadian name. It's safe enough for us to cross over here, unless anything is migrated past here. We've got the little breaker, the transformer station, and then uh, and then a nice, quiet um, back end, unlocked gas station. Really great, actually. Lucky. Oops. Sorry, those guys were not there last time, I don't think. We did come out this way, though, last time, to be fair. Note to self. Many bad guys in the woods just outside of the gas station. Maybe we can mark the map to remind ourselves of this. Looks like there's an upstairs to this gas station. Interesting. going to steal all of these candies. Nothing there. Ooh, look at all the smokes. Oh, oh, oh yeah, baby. OK, 
Okay, we're going to want to turn off this radio as well. Don't need any unnecessary heat coming our way. There's money. Uh, do we... Are we, col are we money collectors or not really? Oops. Gosh, we haven't been seen. Or have we? No, we still haven't actually. Amazingly. I don't know how to get into... I guess we'd have to hop over this counter to get in here. These guys are patrolling around. And then there is the upstairs that we could go to. If, uh, if these guys make it in here, though, while we're upstairs, we could be in a lot of trouble. We could get stuck, right? The, this glass is very easy for them to break. Okay, you can't vault over that. So I'd have to go up and around. I think they see me though, right? They they almost can sense that I'm here right now. There's nothing really to distract them. They haven't started hammering on the door or anything yet though. Okay, what I'll do is I'll go up and around and if they detect me, I'll just run out the back and then run down the road. And then they should still be trying to get in here. Oh. Okay. Yeah, they're in already. I mean, I guess I could have probably stomped them as they came in through the windows, but... They saw me straight away, unfortunately. Alright, so... We come all the way... Oh, we came through here. We came back through here, right? So we have map from down here. We didn't follow this road all the way, though, did we? Or did we? Maybe we did. I feel like we would have seen way more zombies on the way, though. Should we follow the road down a little bit while there's still some daylight and just see if there's any cars down here? There might be some cars. Equally, there could be tons of zombies and we could just die like we did with... Um, Dr. Eddie. There's quite a few here. Oh my gosh, there's quite a few here too. Nothing really worth taking from here. All right, many zombies down the road. Yeah, Terry's uh, actively trying to escape. He's just having one of those days, you know. He's been fed and stuff, but he's just full of beans. Oh, we've been spotted. Oh, gosh. Didn't realize I'd been spotted so... Uh, close. Sneakers? 
and strap shoes. Are we so scared? Ooh. Well, the big one was getting 80 packs of smokes. Actually, it's not 80 packs. It's 80 individual cigarettes. But that's a lot of cigarettes, isn't it? Should keep us going for a bit. One at a time, we'll kill a million zombies in no time at this rate. Short blood, 20 cigarettes? Hello. What a find. Okay, short blunt has leveled up, which is uh, great for us, actually. Really good. Okay, I mean, we can have a look in this clear area down here. This is just kind of close to our house anyway. We missed uh, our favorite TV shows, unfortunately, but um, the good news is, is we cleared out more of the gas station, at least. Just taking it slow. I just bugged a zombie. I did. You're right. This one's got some scissors or a knife in their back or something. Oh, it's a fork. Sure. Okay, Thelma Fournier. Smoke him if you got him. <laughs> Look around while we're smoking. Nice. Okay, I haven't checked my mailbox either, so we should check that. Just nervously smoking in a field? Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Okay, nothing in the mailbox. All right, good. It's uh, 7 o'clock at night, and we're just getting a little tired now. Well, that's, that's two successful lootings of the gas station. Um, unfortunately, the inside of the gas station now has zombies, but... 
it might be a little bit easier to deal with them if they're inside, right? They're spilling out and falling over the uh, edges and stuff. So we'll see. Energize your being. Oh, I think it's just a commercial. Mmm, tortilla chips. Look at all this fine food. So many pops and orange sodas as well. Great. Okay, I'll have to take those because I'll put them in the fridge. The better to have them cold, right? 12 pops. We still haven't even been into the drinks thing in this in the uh, in the station. This is all stuff that was on the uh, on the shelf. pop cans <laughs> so it begins all right we're a bit tired it's 8 30 at night maybe it's a little too early to go to sleep Water is cut off. That's it. There's only a little bit left in the uh, in the taps. So that sink I just washed myself with. I just used all the water and there's none left. God, that that didn't take very long. How many days has it been? Like five days or something? It's been like five days. God, that's rough, eh? What else do we have in here? Four water bottles. Oh yeah, it's, we got a collection of water bottles, right? At least that'll keep us going for a little bit. Water bottles and more water bottles. So I've got one on me. Sterilized rags. Oh, yeah. How am I looking? I'm looking good, actually. My upper torso is bandaged, but it is not dirty. Okay, I can't clean my clothes now. Oh, I'm hungry again, actually. Okay. Let's treat ourselves to uh, some chips. Mmm. This is like... If I if this is me in real life and I ate a bag of potato chips right before bed, I would be up after about an hour of sleeping with just a crippling amount of uh, heartburn. I don't know about you guys, but for me that is the case. Sugary things as well, yeah. Sugary things get me as well. If I have too many sugary things. Alright. Oh, actually, let's watch our shows. We'll have a, a, a morning sit down and, and watch our shows. And you know what? Let's enjoy a smoke. While we're watching our, our shows.
What show is this? Nothing yet. Oh, cooking. It looks like the visibility is not going to be too great out there today. It looks misty. It is misty. It's misty. Um, I've got my water bottle. So I guess we're good to go and see if we can... Um, we we got to start killing some stuff in and around the gas station, I think. It would be good, right? I should have probably brought a bit of food with me because I've cleared out the gas station now. Although... There is a lot of soda left at the gas station. Every night is like a poppin' chips party for Thelma. Very rare that Thelma goes to sleep without some poppin' chips in her belly. Uh, pop and chips are good, you're right. Love a love a pop and chip con combo. Pop and chip. You think the gas station is worth building a base at? I suppose if we can clear out the area a little bit, it could be used as like a a halfway. It does have an upstairs, which is good. And we we probably will need gas. What am I going to do about water? Well, I'm going, to, I'm going to have to build some collectors, but I don't have the carpentry skill to do it. So we might just have to um, fill up with uh, sinks and stuff that we find. They should still have a bit of water in them. But it's not going to be endless amounts, right? Once we can get into Rosewood, all the houses and stuff, we should be able to find stuff. And I got some bottled water. I've got pop and uh, soda too, which is, you know, not bad. So we know now that there are zombies inside. They would have broken in. I see them. I'm going to open the door and let them come out the back. There's two in here. One down. Oh. Two down. There's another one coming. He's trying to get in there. Weird. Oh. Is 
So she's trying to get in and they're trying to get out, but then it looks like there's some trying to get in here too. And we've attracted maybe more than we care to handle at the moment. Well, sometimes you just got to eat a fresh corn dog while you're waiting for the bad guys to break into your gas station. Mmm. Corn dogs. <laughs> yes. There, there's some in here, too. I don't know how long it's going to take them to get in. Uh, some fresh dairy stuff. Oh. There's a dead rat, an empty pop can. That's locked. What's this other building here? We'll have to investigate. <laughs> I have to do some clearing first. Shoes, pants, and black trunks. <laughs> Just taking it nice and slow. Leather jacket? Oh, I thought it had uh, gloves. I thought I saw leather gloves. It's not leather gloves, though. All right, so there's the one, two out here. nothing in this freezer. I could pick up this freezer and take it back with me, though. I don't know if I necessarily need to. Let's grab all this dairy. snacks paper bags and plastic bags oh my god I'm scared Ooh. a rolling pin and an empty cooking pot some peanut butter jam there's a couple of fresh bits in here what's in here Rope and a saw. There's a leash. Oh. Somebody in there. A razor and a toothbrush. Where? Where are you? Where 
Where is he? There's definitely somebody here. Is there not? Oh god. He's behind the door. It's old Hogan. He's dead. Alarm clock? There's a gun case here. Ooh. A word search magazine? What's on the top here? Close the curtains. Found a gun. Did this guy have anything on him? Not really, no. Oh, it's almost time to watch TV. We should probably kill this guy down here first, though. It's not very safe up here because they're just able to... Oh, so he was upstairs and not in here. There's a lunch box and some rip sheets. There's an empty gas can and a rosewood map. Oh. Oh. It doesn't give us anything else. More empty gas cans. Oh my god. Oh, there's a, an annotated map. For Riverside. Tone's waiting for us here. Gas. Oh, maybe Riverside is where we were. No, no, Riverside isn't. It was It was definitely the other place, right? This is an annotated... There's food across the road. Don't rush in. Remember what happened to Mr. Duncan. So this is annotated, and this is like the next building over for us, basically. Another empty gas can. Some more food. There's a wrench here. There's a Louisville map. There's a lug wrench as well, which we'll need for when we get a car. More food, even more food. Okay, no screwdriver though. There's a bit of a mess down here now, but I've looted pretty much everything. Was there 49 cigarettes in there? And still no, um, whatchamacallit. Can opener. Okay. Let's close these curtains. And sit on the ground. And enjoy... Um, hey, why is our water bottle empty? Oh, did she drink some? Does she drink it automatically? Okay, carpentry. Might get level 2 carpentry here. Yeah, we did. Nice. Yeah, I think there's probably water in the sinks to fill the bottle. I'll check in a sec. With level 2 carpentry, we can make the uh, rain catchers, right? Once we have the uh, stuff that we need. Alright, 
let's grab all these nails. Oh, what's this? Can we actually take, um, can we take these paintings? Pick up an incognito library painting for three encumbrance. Nice. I'll take it. Why not? Okay. Helicopter. Wait, does the helicopter shoot me if I'm out, or is it just a noise thing? If it sees me, will it start shooting at me? They're in the gas station. I just heard them smash in. be light on our feet once the chopper is gone right so that we can run home nope front door they could have just come through the windows but oh shit that's not good They're here as well. We might have to make a run for it. Oh, Jesus. Good grief. Oh shit, it's coming back. Oh lord. If it sees me, I'm, I've had it. Oh, this is scary. How often does the uh, helicopter thing happen? Like, pretty often, or...? Just once a run? Oh, okay. Well, it's very close now. Oh, shit.
I don't want to lead them back to my uh, to my base, but um, holy shit. Uh, I just want to get close to the fences so that if I do have to dispatch many a zombie, I might have a better chance of doing it there. God, we almost got trapped in that gas. There's tons of them. Hammer's not going to last long. No, we might have to stomp them. Exertion levels are sky high at the moment. The helicopter's finally gone. All right, I might have to lead them away from the base here, uh, up to these other houses that I've already looted, and maybe kill a couple of them along the way too. Thelma. Okay, so hopefully I can kill a couple of them here. It'd be nice. Nope. Oof. Jesus Christ, there's so many of them. Okay. It's weird, what, like, where they choose to come over the fence is kind of awkward, too, sometimes, isn't it? I'm dead. I'm I'm just fucking dead. Thelma, no! Run! Run! There's too many of them! Oh, it's impossible! Oh, why? We survived for less time than uh, Daddy Monroe. Oh, it's so hard to get them. Uh, I did well before when we were getting them over the fences, but that time was just impossible. We had the uh, the short blunt skill up too, which is kind of nice, but still not enough, right? Like, especially when there's that many bad guys. I think Thelma did good. I think Thelma actually did better than uh, than Eddie did, even though Eddie survived longer. 
Yeah, being tired and stuff probably didn't help. I should have probably just uh, kept running, right? Not, not tried to fight them. It would have been so nice to clear all of these guys, though. Because then it would have just been less guys to clear. I think there was probably little uh, pockets of them, like, all along the way back to the, uh, to the farmhouse, though. You can't do shit with Max Panic. Oh, does it just make everything uh, not uh, not work as well? What uh, what are some ways to get away from uh, Max Panic or nothing really? Oh, the uh, the beta blockers work for that. You just gotta pop them, pop them, pop them non-stop them. All right, chat. I gotta go to the bathroom, and uh, I'm gonna go have a quick uh, bite to eat. And when I get back, we will start run number three. <laughs> See you in a sec.
Hello, I'm back. Did you enjoy, uh, wow, it's uh, nighttime. Did you enjoy your last couple of minutes with um, Thelma Fournier, who is now um, turned? Dead? Deader than dirt? Damn. Damn. Gotta stop fighting everything. We have to stop. We have to stop fighting everything. That's what's getting us killed every time. Stop fighting over fences. Well, I don't have a choice though. I can't fight them in the open. It just takes too long. With no with no skills, I think it just takes too long. But the fence stuff was working earlier, but it just. Um, didn't work out great that time. Um, okay. Well, we go Rosewood again. And um, we'll use the survival challenge rules, which is what we've been using. Um, who do we want to make this time? Who do we want to make? How about a fitness instructor? What did we make last time? A lumberjack? A, lum a lumberjack? And we made, what, a construction worker? No, I didn't bring tea. Sorry, no. I did not get tea. You can hold alt for a floor attack? All oh, right. Does alt just do a floor attack? Electrician gives you electrical fitness and strength. The burger flipper gives you cooking, fitness, maintenance, short blade, and strength. Strength, sprinting, and fitness for fitness instructor. You also get nutritionist. Can see the nutritional values of any food. Veteran gives you aiming, fitness, reloading, and strength. And gives you desensitized. Well, veteran would be great, right? Desensitized. That kind of screwed us over a bit last time, the fact that we were so um, scared of everything. You want to be a veteran this time? Okay, we'll try veteran. All right, so we have, um, we have to make up for eight points. Um... Smoker? <laughs> Always? What about out of shape? Low endurance and low endurance regeneration. What about overweight? We'd lose one fitness. Overweight or underweight? Underweight. Low strength, low endurance, and prone to injury? That does not seem good to me. It seems really bad. Out of shape is hilarious. Minus two fitness. I mean, we have, what, five fitness as a veteran? Smoker and obese. Overweight and obese are basically positive traits. Yeah, because I guess uh, overweight and obese quickly... Uh, fix themselves right they they fix themselves after uh, a couple of days probably all the weight related traits can be removed by becoming healthy so you can go underweight and just stuff your face with loads of food to remove it that's good unfit very underweight all right but also gives you low endurance and prone to injury. And obese gives you very low endurance and prone to injury. But does that stuff, after you've, uh, after you've lose the obese trait, do you lose all of those penalties as well? After you've unobesed? <laughs> okay, let's go under underweight and... You can't go obese and underweight at the same time, unfortunately. <clears throat> so that gives us uh, two more. 
So we could go dexterous. <clears throat> um, unfit. Minus four fitness. Oh my god. So we'd have no fitness whatsoever as a major as a major skill so we'd probably have to do some exercising right if we get if we started with unfit unfit is really tough uh, out of shape what about out of shape minus two fitness out of shape is also bad high thirst seemed kind of annoying last time Unlucky, sleepyhead, prone to illness, pacifist, hearty appetite, hard of hearing, disorganized, conspicuous, weak stomach. Weak stomach is only if you eat um, crappy food, right? Which hopefully we're not going to. Weak stomach. Okay, we can try weak stomach. And then that frees up some, some points so that we could take... Um, what fast learner or fast reader at least right fast reader could be a good one speed demon need something else sunday driver clumsy short-sighted slow learner weak deaf oh my god man we have one more point to spend you want to go speed demon probably not good right Unlucky is surprisingly good. Really. What could go wrong for you often does. Underweight is a real pain in the ass to fix if you're not in a town for lots of fatty foods. So what, do you think we should go overweight instead? go obese underweight you just got to find a lot of butter underweight is easier to fix underweight's better lots of people are saying that underweight is better okay fine now we'll try underweight I mean, we're probably going to die in like two seconds anyway, so we can just try overweight next time. Um, okay, let's try unlucky as well so that we can get um, something else. Amateur mechanic, gymnast would give us light-footed and nimble. Brawler would give us plus one axe and plus one long blunt. I do like a long blunt. Resilient gives you less prone to disease. Runner gives you plus one sprinting. Light eater needs to eat less regularly. Inconspicuous, less likely to be spotted by zombies. Graceful, gardener, angler, baseball player gives you long blunt. First aid. Outdoorsman. That seems to fit with... Uh, with veteran right outdoorsman would uh would fit with with veteran so we're not affected by harsh weather conditions when does that actually help you <laughs> when it's uh when it's raining when it's cold oh you don't get colds cat cat's eyes and speed demon sunday driver Deaf, weak, unfit, thin skinned, slow learner. What do we want? Fast learner, increased XP gains, high thirst. Maybe we could just take high thirst again, right? And then that way we could then take uh, fast learner. We could take fit, just fit. That would add plus two fitness. Wow. Okay, let's grab that, and then we'll just grab, uh, like, Speed Demon, I guess. Just to level it. Fine. Sure. Okay. Carmel Miles. Um, a, a veteran 
with a with a mohawk? Wait, do we take the first one or do we go random? Do we have to hit hit random once? Okay, it's Wallace Merchant, who actually looks a bit like uh, I don't know, like Sergeant Slaughter from GI Joe's. He's got the camel pants as well and the long so socks, but he's opted for some sneakers, some army issue sneakers. He's got the beret on as well and a Hawaiian shirt, very nice. He's also rocking a curly mullet and a mustache. Wallace Merchant. All right, let's go. Run number three. Are you guys ready for some of this? Will I update the stream title? Oh yeah, what are we on now? What's his name? Wallace Merchant. Um, oh, hang on a second. Run three. Okay. Um, don't show me this guide, okay? Ever again. I don't want to see it. All right. A griddle pan? A juice box? Some odds and sods? Toothbrush and toothpaste? Don't need that. Um, some books. I'll grab a, a, a pen as well for my map. <coughs> Farming, fishing, mechanics, trapping. Lots of books that we can't actually use for s quite some time. Some crayons. There's a keytar instrument here. Very nice. A crossword magazine. And a CD. Ooh. Okay. We got a crowbar. I've also got a fanny pack. Um, and it's on. I put it on. I'm not sure where we are. Well, I have an idea of where we are. Okay, let's get to some safety. Some adhesive tape here and some staples. Quit. Nice. Holy crap. There's a key here for something. There's a comic book in here. Frying pan. Oh. Getting a crowbar to start with is really, really something, isn't it? Terry, you okay? Okay, let's wear this padded jacket. 
give us a little bit more protection. Oh my. Whoops. He's back at it, folks. He's back at it with his dumb fence trick. Anything? No. Just a bunch of bras and stuff. <clears throat> Ah. The map. Nice. Do you think it's safe to drink from this uh, bird bath? It's probably not safe to drink from a bird bath, right? Whoops. Whoops. Don't worry, chat. I'm running. Oh, my. That alarm really is attracting uh, the locals. got a black digital watch. Uh-oh. These guys are having a feast out here. I think we're getting a bit tired. Can you jump over these big fences? You can, right? They can't get through or jump over these big fences, though, right? They don't even try to. Where the hell am I right now? I'm so spoiled by this huge chain link fence. I gotta find some water. Maybe I can get into like one of these houses over here. Is that a mannequin? Yes, please. We've got a can opener. Finally. I can't believe it. All right, we'll have to come back to some of these houses later, I think. There's another one here, too. Holy crap. Oh, what's that? Could it be? Got a full tank of gas, too.
Wow, what a start. What a great start. He was in the kitchen. Okay, I've learned from my uh, previous mistakes playing this game about driving. You just gotta take it slow. Okay, let's go get set up in our uh, in our base of operations and see if third t if we're if we're in a situation whereby it's third time lucky. I know where we are. I know exactly where we are. Come on, Wallace. You can do it. You can do it. He's done it. Wee 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 wee. No, no wee 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 wee. Okay. Great. Look at all this food. Look at all this ham. Yep. Good. Just going to dry myself. Fishing volume one. Sure. There's no TV at this uh, location. Terry. Someone's in my house. It's like, it's like a like a team of race car drivers inside my house. Why is there a whole team of race car drivers inside the house? Oh, they're watching the Super Bowl? No, come on, really? There's a lot of people in here. Black underpants. Look, there's a Kentucky baseball shirt. Oops. Butter knife. check the back actually first Is that you 
Oh, man. Anyone in here? Nope. Some denim shorts and, and some sports shorts? Lighter matches. <clears throat> no smokes. We need some. Some bleach and cleaning liquid. Adhesive tape. Oh my god, man. What a start. I think they were here just um, having fun watching Turbo. I think they were just here enjoying a spot of turbo. Hello? Ooh. And why not? If you can enjoy some turbo, why not enjoy a bit of turbo? So in the trunk, we got a car battery, a full car battery. We've also got a wrench. There's a tote bag and one tissue. I guess we want to probably load up the car with food. put all of our books in here too um, we'll carry the can opener with us but the frying pan we don't need to carry around with us Louisville Kentucky nice Ah, that's nice. Anything in here? No. Adhesive tape. Let's grab this stuff. Let's grab this stuff. Do we need, um, let's rip some clothing here so we got some sheets. Wait, does bleach work for bandages as well or is it just disinfectant? I don't think it works. I don't know what bleach and cleaning liquid are used for in this. How do you look in the uh, glove box? You have to be on the uh, the other side. Okay. I think that's everything that we need from here for now. Uh, 
Um, tote bag? What's in this tote bag? Nothing. All right. We'll sort ourselves out when we get to where we want to go. We need some smokes. We're a little bit hungry, but we have lo lots of food. We're a bit thirsty, too. I think my drink bottle just ran out. Whoops. Whoops. having a little off-road adventure right now. Oh my god, there's so many zombies in this area right now. Okay, let's try to get set up here again. Ooh. Red Spots Underpants, my favorite. Black Digital Watch. These guys don't really have anything. Pink Frilly Underpants, though. Alright, nice. Full veteran mode now. It's a hand fork. Shoes. Whoa. Animal print underpants and bra animal print. I'm a collector. I'll take them. Yeah, big score. You're right. A, uh, I'll do a big sweep and clear. Whoops, hang on. Exposure survival, guys. Okay, we'll get some skill ups here and then we'll go and clear the upstairs. I can hear something up there. Fishing. Not that we'll ever use it, but it's still fun to pretend. We did it. Job done. Let's go up and see. Is anybody back here? 
Hello. No problem. Duct tape can stay there. Hello. There's a whole bunch of... Uh, whoa! Woodcraft episode 6! Come on. Oh god. I was not ready for that. This guy is in his... Uh, in his undies. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, antidepressants. Beta blockers. Yup. Bath towel. There's a standard bra in here. I'm not too interested in a standard bra. Oh, there's a bandage here. Nice. Painkillers. Sewing kit. Good. Soap, vitamins? Sure. Yep. We can leave this stuff here, actually, because we are going to probably live here for a bit. There's a can opener here, too. Holy crap. I'm going to eat this fresh eggplant. Anyone back here? Yeah, there's one guy back here. Let's close the door. Just in case this guy gets any funny ideas. Just defending uh, my yard, my new yard. Anyone else back here? Okay, we'll go check out the uh, the workshop as well. Oh shit. Uh, these are all the guys that followed from the road. We had we had some luck luring luring them over fences last time. Right? <laughs> Okay, good. God, the multi-hit is really strong, isn't it? I, I need it as well. I know, like, I know it's... A lot of you are probably laughing your heads off right now. Oh my god, this guy's using multi-hit. Oh, what a noob. But I gotta use it. Whoa. Okay, well, the, the crowbar is uh, an insane pickup for us at the start. Really nice. There's a Jenny in here, look. 
Wow. Oh my god, man. Mechanics Volume 2. There's a metal bar. Metal pipes. There's a propane torch and safety goggles in here. More safety goggles. An empty gas can and a wrench. Very good. All right. This is a great spot. Well, I mean, we've tried to, two other times to use this spot. I feel like we should uh, we should just try again. Okay, let's unload some stuff, and then we can unload the car tomorrow, right? Oh. I never unlocked the front door. Let's have a beer. Mmm, nice. Alright, we gotta find some smokes. We probably gotta get all these corpses out of here too. But for now, let's just sleep. We're pretty tired. All right, well. Oh, take the ice cream out of the cars. Yeah, I think that's, it's toast. We'll get more. All right, category, clothing. We'll put those in there for another day. Uh, March Ridge map. Yeah. Louisville map. Yeah. We don't need to hang on to these now. Sewing kit. Can opener. Scrap electronics. We'll move these bodies out of here, too. Oh, I missed the shows. I missed morning cartoons. Check to see if this ice cream made it. I think it's gone. I think it's melted away. Oh no, it's still here. It's and it's fresh. All right, let's get this bitch on ice. Nice. Perfect. All right, let's put this uh, fresh food in here too. Light sources, household. Clean these rags. 
lighter rip sheets, dish towel, vitamins, empty bottle. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, it's on the floor. How do you, can you put it up on a counter? Oh, I see, like this. Okay, good. And another can opener. Two runs, we didn't see a single one. Okay, I'm just going to eat all this bread before it goes bad, right? I don't want to put bread in the fridge. That's gross. No, thanks. Rice, pepper, dried lentils, dried black beans. <coughs> We've got to find some smokes. We got the car, so we can... Uh, we can go. We gotta start moving some corpses. How many corpses can you uh, pick up at a time? Just the one. Because what's gonna happen is the car is just gonna get effed every time I drive in here, right? God, I've killed a lot of zombies already. Holy jeez. Moth on one. Um, how is this crowbar doing? It's in pretty good condition still. It's still green at least. Corpses onto the flammable grass. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna light them up. Not yet, anyway. At some point, I'll have to. But for now, they can just stay there. Hopefully, the other zombies will see the big pile of corpses and think, "Hang on a second. I'm not messing with this guy. He's a killer. He's a bona fide killer." All right, good. That's that job done. Now we got to empty out the uh, trunk of the car. Let's check the glove box as well. How do you check the glove box? Maybe you just can't. Oh yeah, leave the battery, the car battery being in here makes sense. Oh, and the inventory screen, yeah, of course. Sorry, I always forget to check that. All right, let me drop off some food here. Nice. I'll put this cooking pot in here too. Frying pan. Um, we can use it as a weapon eventually if, if we need to, right? I heard, I heard shots. Cooking volume one. Oh, nice. Word search magazine. Okay, 
let's put uh, word search magazine and maps and stuff on this side. Scrap electronics. We need some sort of container for this. We'll put first aid in here. The, the first aid that we don't need to really carry around with us right now. We've got lighter and matches. <laughs> oh, pardon me. And uh, we just need somewhere to store... Um, oh. Other stuff. Like um, scrap electronics. And tape. Because I guess we need this stuff for crafting later. Wrench? I don't know. Saw? We don't really have to carry around a saw with us, necessarily. I don't need a dish towel with me either. Oh, there's a rolling pin here. In good condition as well. Might need to use that once the crowbar runs out, right? Um, I'm still carrying a lot of weight on me. I'm not sure what uh, what's so heavy. I guess probably just the tools. And all these ripped sheets. Okay, we got a needle and thread for stitching if we need to. Rip sheets, pen, dish towel, can opener, bandage, crowbar. Yeah, okay, fine. Wow, look at that. Men don't wear fanny packs? Well, this one does. And long socks with his camo shorts, okay? Don't judge. Wallace is a veteran, okay? He'll fuck you up real quick. Metal bar and metal pipes. Propane torch. Okay, we don't know how to operate a generator just yet, but we got one for when we need one, right? And a propane torch. I'm just carrying the fanny pack. It's not actually equipped. Oh, right. Okay. I'll put it on. Put it on so I can store some of my particulars in there. Oh, where's the generator? Oh. Okay. Perfect. And then propane torch. We don't need to carry this around with us either. Put it in here. Okay, now I've got the fanny pack on. And inside the fanny pack, nothing. Let's put matches, lighter. <laughs> put all of our smokes in there too, it'll be good. All right, well, we need uh, like a duffel bag or something would be nice. Uh, we need some smokes. And um, what we could do with getting some more books and stuff too. It's almost noon, so we should probably Do I have, like, carpentry or anything? 
cooking. Okay, no cooking. How come I can't, um, I enabled the mods for this, right? How come I can't sit on any of these? Oh, you can only sit on them when they're facing like a certain way, right? Woodcraft. Perfect. Okay, good. We got a level in carpentry, so if we can find some tools, we're laughing. Okay, that's enough cooking, reading about for now. We'll start working on our big book collection. Let's go get something to eat and then we'll go for a drive. Start eating all this fresh food first. God, the water bottle weighs a lot. Yeah, I just... I like to raw dog a uh, water bottle. All right, before we drive anywhere, I think we should spend the rest of the day trying to uh, clear out this uh, area. Actually, well, we'll it'll probably be easier to uh, clear it out once we've attracted a load of them in with the uh, sound of the car, right? Ooh, there's some alcohol wipes in here and another lighter. So more animal print underpants and bra. I already got those ones. All right, is there anyone else out here close to my big cool base that I'm currently in the process of making that needs to be taken out? Taken out back and shot like a dog? Because I will do it. I don't actually have a gun. But uh, if you don't have a gun, you can always use a crowbar, no problem. Get the gas cans inside the car. Oh yeah, there's some gas cans here, you're right. That's a good idea. You never know when you're going to need to uh, refuel, right? Get these spare uh, metal pipes and stuff as well. Put them in the back of the car too, just in case. Just in case the old C bar runs out of juice.
Good grief. Look at all of them. You know, there's so many around here. Alright, first stop, the gas station. Okay, we might have to clear a little bit on the way to the gas station. This is bad. Oh, God. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe I threw away that start. <laughs> my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why is it so hard to kill zombies in this game? Oh. Why do I try to fight so many? Oh man, I don't know. Cause like, I watch people play this game on YouTube and they fight fucking thousands of them and they kill them all. And I just think, yeah, I can do that. And I cannot do that. I can't, I can't even kill three of them. It's too hard. It's just, it is just too hard. I can't even, the thing is like, I'm impatient too. So like when you're driving around the gas station, there's that many bad guys. You just think, oh, well, I guess I got to start clearing. But, like, you can't. <laughs> you just cannot do it. I think you. Know, I think we need to skill up before we start really taking on big hordes of um, bad guys, right? Uh, we try again. Wallace, he, he had the makings. He had the makings, but it was just, it was too much for him, right? Okay, we got to go in with another veteran though, right? We're going in. This is going to be our second obese veteran. <laughs> we're going. We're doing it again. All right. This time we want. Um, oh, what about uh, what about handy? Handy might be nice, right? We already have a lot of strength. Extra knockback from melee weapons. Increased carrying weight. Plus four strength. Okay, let's get fast learner and fast reader. Fast learner, fast reader, obese. Um, we also want to take smoker. And uh, we can also take weak stomach. Which gives us another one. Speed Demon. Outdoorsman. Angler. No, we don't want that. Well, maybe we do actually. Feeble, high thirst, out of shape, unfit, weak, clumsy, all thumbs. Oh, yeah, we want dexterous as well, right? Fast reader. Fast learner. Prone to illness. More prone to disease and a faster rate of zombification more prone to disease Ooh. 
unlucky. It gives us five so that we can get dexterous, cat's eyes, and speed demon. No, we don't want speed demon. Let's grab um, clumsy. Makes more noise when moving. Short sighted. Smaller view distance and slower visibility fade. Okay, let's take High Thirst again so that we have some more stuff to play around with, right? Because it would be good to have Outdoorsman. And it might also be good to have <laughs> Sewer? <laughs> Sewer? Runner. You think Runner? Brawler. We don't have enough for Brawler. We do have enough for Gymnast, though. Light-footed and nimble. Okay, let's go like this. Now we're talking, chat. Now we're talking. Ernesto Cerna. Look at that. He looks like he's from like the uh, the Spanish uh, military or something. The rule is that we always random once. Norbert Britt. Look at that. He's got the short sleeve shirt, the green veteran t-shirt, military green camo shorts with long socks and sneakers. And dog. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, okay. And dog tags. I just got some tea chat. This guy looks great. Norbert is, yeah, <laughs> Norbs. Norbert is a bit of a badass. Okay, this is uh, this is run number four. Let's do better. <laughs> oh my God. Just think, if I'd taken the safe way, I got to learn from my mistakes, right? I never learn from my mistakes. All right, let's see if we can do better. I can't believe we had a car and everything. That was nuts. Have I tried not getting bitten? Yeah, I have actually. Kitchen tongs, some canned chili. Okay. Let's grab a beer for later. We're definitely going to want to... Um, oh, hello? Anything in here? Anything in here? Some perfume? We don't know what time it is. There is absolutely nothing in here. I have no idea where we are. There's quite a few zombies around here. All right, Norbs. Norbert Britt. Also a veteran. In an area that I'm not overly familiar with. But we're in good shape for now. We're just walking away. Right, there's something here. Ooh. There's the big fence. We're somewhere in Rosewood. I just don't know where. This field looks uh, like a field. It is full of bad guys. Hey, Nezteb, thanks so much for the five. Hey, Dad, this Rimworld zombie mod looks cool. Name a colon S after you. Okay, okay, I will. 
Neztip, thanks so much. I'm walking away from Rosewood? Which direction? Oh. I thought I was walking towards it. Is this... Are we just on the outskirts of it right now? Whoa. Where is this? Is this a building? Where is this big building? This must be a big building. Oh, shit. We don't want to be near a big building, do we? What is it? Like a mall or a school or something? There's a fence. How come I can't jump over it? It's not a fence that you're able to jump? Oh, you gotta hold E. My bad. Alright. Let's follow this road. There's a fence here. This gotta lead somewhere good, right? What if that was the prison? God, I do not want to be at the prison. Okay, here we go. Look, maybe we can get into this house and see if there's a weapon or something for us. It's not too busy around here. It doesn't feel like it's too busy. Oh my god, look at this. Jesus. Metal pipe? Sure. Good grief. There's a tire pump and an empty gas can, too. There's a welder mask here. Just humping the window here. Nice. We're in. in there. Nice. Planks, metal pipe, metal sheet, welder mask. Cool, now we look like a, a real killer. Dummy. Don't you dare break this window. We don't look very obese, but we are obese, and now we have exerted ourselves too much. Um, 
I have no idea where this is. There is a lot of uh, there are a lot of houses around here, though. This is in uh, better condition than the last one, right? Oh, we'll just go house to house and just see what we can get. But yeah, we got a free generator and a free lawn gnome as well. Nice house. Cooking volume two. And a blue pen. Canned sardines. That's a nice little house. Very small, though. We've exerted ourselves too much once again. What's the ideal size of a house? I don't know. Um, like 5,000 square feet plus. Oh, it's closed. Jesus! Fucking hell! Where did he come from? I'm gonna die. Uh, I'm gonna have to rip all this guy's clothing here so that I can heal. close that was nasty uh, he's got a leather jacket a riverside map Good grief. That's crazy. Carpentry five. Forging for carpentry four as well. Oh my God. We need a bag or something. Let's try to remember that there's a gun there. We need some food as well. Ah, nice. Well, 
Well, can open it. Okay. Let's turn off that TV. Okay, we're no longer in pain. It's not so bad around here. Oops. Hello. Oh my lord. I take it back. It's pretty bad around here. Um, I'm not exactly sure where I am right now in relation to where we want to be. It may be that we live here. It's very dangerous around here, though. There's no upstairs to any of these houses. And the place is just crawling with zombies as well. Look at this. They're coming out of the trees. And I need to sit somewhere soon and rest. I'm getting tired. How do you use stomp while you have a weapon equipped? Is there like a button that you you can press? Space. Oh my. They're still following me. You can do it. Whew. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, man. I know where we are actually. I think I know where we are. We might be in with a chance here. Oh, 
Ah, uh, we're fucking dead. I'm bleeding. I'm exhausted. I, I don't even know where I can sleep. And there's just bad guys everywhere. Yeah, we're dead. I can't even run anymore. Oh, that's a rough one. This is rough. Oh, shit. Norbert, you were meant to be our, our hero. You were meant to be the hero. Okay, if we have to, we're going out. We're going to have to. They're coming up. Um, oh, God. Screwdriver. Let's drop this. Hell, maybe they won't come up here. I think they're coming up. Maybe we can just rest. We can just get a little bit of rest in. <laughs> the gun is a great way to die. What if I can what if I can get out of here though? It's 5:20. We're going to probably pass out though. We're ridiculously tired. think just use the gun on myself I wonder if I get away with sleeping we got to try right I think we got away with sleeping did we Oh my god. I think we actually got away with sleeping. Hey Rocket Sam, thanks for the 9.99. Thank you so much. Anything out there? They'll still be in the house though, right? I can hear something.
I can definitely hear them walking around down there. Gotta be a bathroom up here, right? So that we can get some water. Okay, are you ready? I'm opening the door. Okay, I'm gonna have to drink out of the toilet. For some reason, there's just no sink up here. There's a pipe wrench, though. shower I better not turn it on though okay I've healed up a little bit oh yeah nice okay how the hell do we get out of this house now 5.50 a.m. You gotta use the toilet before drinking from it? We're a little bit overweight right now. Twenty ripped sheets. God, there's so many guns in this house. I can't use them realistically, though, because, uh, well, they won't be uh, they won't be effective, for one. got through some Okay, I know where we are at least. It's not good though. It is not good. We're a little hungry, but it's fine. We can sort ourselves out when we get somewhere safe. And work off some of this obesity.
<laughs> oh no. Keep some clean bandages. Ah, here's the motel. This is good for us, actually. This is really good. We're coming up to an area that we're familiar with. There's the spiffos here. And then to the right is the gas station. And then, well, we know beyond the gas station how to get to the farmhouse. I know we're just doing the same thing over and over, but it's a great way to learn the map, isn't it? Or at least this part of the map. Already we know, like, roughly where we are. Pizza World. Yes. Let's try to break some vision, like with some trees and stuff. Hopefully they just stop following after a while. Man, I can't believe we got out of that house. I did not expect to survive that. We were in pretty rough shape. Keeping your peepers open for the queasy noodle? Is it just me or is that guy moving faster than the other ones? Or am I slowing down because I'm so scared and hungry? Also, a little thirsty. If we get to the farmhouse, we'll probably have to fight a little bit, but hopefully not too much. And then we can have a drink and a rest and see what's what. Oh, my God. Well, at least we kind of made it to the safe, the safer area with everybody we've had to restart with so far today. <laughs> Our la Wallace had the best start, though, with the car and everything. Fuck, what a waste. Oh, man, that would have been so good. Oh, he really had such an amazing start. He had the generator and everything. Oh, God. I just flushed it right down the toilet. Really just flushed it. All right, we're here. The visibility is not great. Let's see if we can get in here. Yeah, it's open. Holy crap, I can't believe it. Scarf, winter hat. There's a hammer. There's a shovel for snow. Tire pump. Gas can. Maps. Another hammer. All right, let's see if we can start clearing some of this out. Get into this fudge. <laughs> There's a lot of them.
I made of. Okay, we're good. For a minute. We got an infection on our right forearm, though. any food on me right now but there'll be some in here adhesive bandages there's some antidepressants I should probably take some there's another pipe wrench here it's nice Simon's Fitness Club, episode 5. Nice, 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 nice. A door? Oh my god, man. The door's been aced. The front door has been absolutely aced. And there's someone up here, too. In this one. Ew. Oh, what a scene. That is so gross. <laughs> Okay, well, we made it, but the the place is not secure, unfortunately. Oh. They could just walk right in on me. Suit pants? I don't think we can stay here this time. We might need to go uh, further up. There's no door. Shit. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I lost my stuff jumping over. No, <laughs> that's not the one. Oh, Lord. Christ. I mean, come on. All right. We can't stay here. We're going to have to go further up. It's got to be done, right? We'll go stay at the other little house and just hope that we can uh, have a rest and heal a little and... Oh my lord. Find some food? Oh my lord. You can press space to stamp on them when they're down. That's good to know, actually. It's only take me like four runs. <laughs> oh, man. I don't trust my guy to jump over fences. Not after he lost his hat and his pipe wrench. <laughs> man oh jeez I think this fence is going to kill me before the zombies do. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Whew. Good grief. I can't believe this. I need to find some alcohol wipes. Well, I had some uh, in my car. Wallace uh, Wallace found some, if you remember. But they're no good for Norbert Britt. You can't trip if you just hold the E to go over the fence. I did that last time. I think it's because I sprint to go over normally. So there's a chance of you tripping if you sprint over a, uh, a wall.
Well, you live and you learn. And you lose and you learn. And you lose, you learn. You breathe and you learn. You breed and you learn. You learn. Oh, gosh, okay. Hopefully. Hopefully we get a decent run of it in this place. Process cheese, and there's some fresh bologna in here, too. That is nice. That's nice. Was that Alanis Morissette? Yeah, she's at, um, she's just visiting right now, and she's singing her favorite hits. to really um, injure ourselves. Oh, baby. Oh, man, that's great. Oh, we don't have a match. Match or lighter, though. Oh, man. Got all these smokes, and we don't have anything to s we don't have anything to light them up. Can't can't light up the smokes. There's another pipe wrench here. Holy crap! Okay. There's a belt here. Just gonna wear two belts. All right, we might just stay here tonight. Tailoring volume three. There's a magazine and a comic book. Toolbox here. Uh, there's the other um, house down the road that we can go check out too, right? Oh, Woodcraft. Oh, man. I can't believe we made it here. I actually, I cannot believe that we've made it to this place. I know I've got so many plumbing. Supplies, plumbing, plumbing apparatus, apparatus, plumbing apparatus. Oh, great. 
Okay, that was some woodcraft. Excellent. Carpentry, aiming and reloading we have skills in. Light-footed nimble, strength and fitness. God, we are a mess. We really are such a mess, eh? I left all the guns in town. Ugh, we can't really use them anyway, though, right? Oh, we don't have any soap. Oh, there might be some in the... Uh, let's wash our clothes. <laughs> looking good, looking good. Alright, let's see what the damage is like. That's infected. Left hand's infected. Right hand might be healed up. No, it's infected as well. So both hands are infected. Right forearm was just scratching, I believe. No, it's uh, an infected laceration. <laughs> okay. Um, right upper arm, probably just a couple of scratches, right? No, <laughs> it's again scratched and infected. Left shin. Now, this has got to be just a little scratch, right? Yeah, it is still okay. Not infected, though. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, there's just not much here. We're going to go check the other house and then come back to sleep here. Maybe catch some more TV. We're a bit tired now. We just need some food. And we need uh, matches or a lighter. would be good, too. some food here canned food lots of it as well Cooking volume two, an eraser as well. Oh, I hear something out there. Oh, okay, we're tired. We should probably get this food back here eat it and get some sleep and then hopefully we can uh, go back out to the farmhouse move some stuff into that shed maybe live there for now Okay, I'm going to eat all this canned corn. Mmm, my favorite. I love canned corn. Um, ham fresh, lemon fresh, 
packaged corn, sausage can all go in the freezer. There's some other stuff in the freezer here too. Riverside map, safety goggles, and a belt, which we aren't wearing. Some ripped sheets. Let's clean all of our rags and redress our wounds. We almost missed the TV. Oh. Left hand has healed? Even though it was infected? That's good. Left shin hopefully will be healed. No, it's infected now. Okay, well, left hand managed to uh, to heal up, so that's good. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, let's sleep. I can't sleep in this bed. Rest. Why? Oof. All right, let me clean these rags. Oh, right upper arm is looking promising. Ah, hand. Okay, both hands have healed. Yeah, and our left shin is healed up as well. That's great. That is great. Oh, man, oh, man. Okay, let's read a comic book. Yeah, we got the dual wielding pipe wrench. Very good. Can opener, ripped sheets, dirty rags, cigarettes, thread, an empty tin can. We got a box of nails as well. A word search magazine too. We've got cooking volume two, which doesn't help us right now. We have a screwdriver if we want to dismantle some doors. And we do need a hammer for that too though. Oh man, oh man, oh man. She let's let's set out when it's not so dark. Oh my god, man, that's crazy. Um what improves fitness when performed regularly? Exercise fatigue will be felt on legs, reducing movement speed, push-ups, reducing combat, sit-ups, increasing clumsiness and burpees about everything. What do we want? Half an hour of sit-ups.
pair of bandages and stuff look fine. Is there anything else in here? Not enough soap. We could use the the large deluxe bath to wash ourselves, but there's not enough soap. There's a bath towel here, though. We can dry ourselves from being so sweaty. <laughs> now it's all wet. <laughs> what a game, eh? What a game this is. We don't need that. Uh, wait, are we wearing underpants? We don't even have any underpants on. God. Do we have... Um, okay, yeah, we have sneakers at least. And we have long socks. We, we were going commando the whole time. I can't believe it. I can't believe that. Okay, let's take a can of vegetable soup with us and we'll head back to the to the farm, right? We'll go back there and we'll start making making some making some moves. We're not going to live in the farmhouse though. I think we're probably just going to live in the shed. It's easier to, to barricade up and stuff, right? Oh yeah, we got, uh, we're, we're very thirsty, right? We've got like always thirsty if we get to the gas station we get a couple water bottles should be good right when's the harvest <laughs> oh man you know if we practice doing this enough eventually we'll make it past day seven You can live upstairs and just have a rope nailed to a window that only you can scale. Don't the zombies um, eat those ropes, though? If they see them, they attack them. Sheet ropes as well. We could put the uh, the rope inside the house, though, to go get up the stairs so that they can't just walk up the stairs. Like, we could put it in the bathroom with the door closed in the bathroom. If we're not in the bathroom, they wouldn't really try to go into the bathroom either, right? So it would be safer. There's a couple of deadmans out here. Just a few. But over here was uh, was fine, I think, right? I don't think m much else has come over here.
hell yeah look at us now can have an open one as well there's a whole bunch of winter stuff in here medical shit nice There's a plank in here. Oh, there's a hammer. Okay, that's good. We can disassemble stuff. There's two windows in here. So we'd want to... Um, we'd want to block those up for sure. Damn. I hear someone. Who do I hear? Jesus. I hear a couple of people. Oh, that was close. Okay. Got the hammers down. This is not good. This is not good. Jumping. I can't. I'm fucking dead. I. I, I can't. I'm, I'm just completely out. Oh, oh man. I can't. Uh, I think obese maybe suck there, but fuck, I can do shit against that. Like, they just never fell down. Oh, man, oh, man. Was I just completely out of stamina? I couldn't have even run away. I had to fight. Oh, God. Low energy and tired? Oh. Every fucking time, man. That was such a rough one too, wasn't it? S such a such a rough start. It was cool that we survived, but only to then fucking die stupidly to two zombies. Pop 
population peak multiplier to one, otherwise your zombie numbers increase over the first 24 days, regardless of respawn setting? Really? Is that actually a thing? Um, where is that? Peak multiplier. Population peak multiplier. Oh, it's supposed to represent the zombie number growing as people are turning. All oh, right. Adjust the desired population on the peak day. Four is maximum. The default's 150. So what setting it to one, what makes it so that the zombies that spawn in are basically what you're dealing with. It's not going to, it's not going to spawn more. <sighs> okay. So we do not want to take obesity. It's too hard. That was crazy. I want to try um, veteran again, though. I like. The idea of veteran, although the aiming and reloading skills, we're never going to get to shoot a gun. <laughs> it's never going to happen. So we want, instead we want underweight, right? Instead of obese, because obese really failed us there, right? We just didn't have, well, we didn't have dexterous. And what, smoker? Okay. So we're an underweight smoker, but we're dexterous, and we have fitness and strength. Underweight makes melee painful. Yeah, I guess we have to fix it, right? We have to fix underweight before we, we really start to do stuff. just eat lots of ice cream you get a permanent minus two strength from underweight really you can never get rid of it it's minus one fitness not strength it takes weeks of exercise all oh, right okay so do we want to, we want to just chill at the start, right? We want to just sneak around, survive, and skill up before we really start doing a lot of stuff. Maybe we're just trying to go too fast. Okay. All right. Random. It's Brent, <laughs> it's Brent Carpenter. Holy crap. What a man. What a man. This guy's he's something else. Brent Carpenter, not actually a carpenter, but I died uh in behind the farmhouse to um two zombies i ran out of stamina unfortunately i ran out of stamina and i could not push them over or kill them or anything So we just want to eat everything we can. Are we injured? No, we're not. Okay. Of 
crop top arms pancake the hedgehog holy you got a rifle Nice. Okay. <sighs> Off once more. To, to finally conquer Rosewood, if we possibly can, it would be great. try to be a bit more sneaky this time let's try to attract less heat on us I think I know where we are this does look familiar we've definitely been up around here before right burnt down I think this is the school there's a burnt down house here oh my god we're off to a great start already lost the beanie <laughs> doing a fucking doing a mega lunge over the fence I'm already injured as well, if you can believe that. From that. It's my right shin. It's scratched and it's bleeding. Okay, I've had to rip my long socks. I like this chain fence. I mean, I know that there's some bad guys here, but at least the the ones on the other You're side can't get me. Dead. Gosh, there's a lot of them out here. Yep. Why are there so many of them just out in this field? <laughs> Fuck off. Hey guys, fuck off. Whoa. There's a car there. So tempted. Oh, gross. Quite a few of them there. Oh, 
gosh, where the hell is this? Where's this place? This hasn't come up on any of my maps before. Oh no! Where am I? I'm in a parking lot. Oh my god, I'm touching concrete. I'm a survivor. What? I'm not going to give up. What? I keep on surviving. What? Keep on surviving. Does this guy have any socks? Yes. Nice. Okay. Long socks acquired. A problem. All right. This is Oh, yeah. Pizza World. Good. Good. I know where we are now. Pizza world. Nice. We're not uh, tired or anything either just yet. Okay. I think we're going to skip the farmhouse. Just go for the two small houses. I watched a disgusting first. number of Let's Plays as a home-based worker. And fuck me if your Skyrim playthrough isn't the best fucking one. Nice. Jesus Christ, I was in tears. Many thanks. Connor. Thank you so much for the 50. Jeez, Connor. Thank you so much. And thanks for watching the Skyrim playthrough as well. Appreciate it. God, that was a while ago. Skyrim was quite some time ago, wasn't it? All right. We just got to artfully... We're not uh, thirsty or hungry or tired yet. Just yet. So we have a bit of puff to get through some of these crazy situations which is good we're gonna try to we're gonna try to head to the uh to the farmstead but then we're gonna try to lose most of them at the farm and head up to those two houses it's a little bit safer up there and then we can maybe just chill and skill up a bit and stay a bit rural might be a good idea this time see if we can maybe just grab some books while we're up there too It'd be nice to get a hat as well. Just one hat. Because, uh, can you cut your hair in this? I don't ever want to be without a hat, pretty much. I hate this guy's hair. It reminds me of the lead singer of Sum 41. Which I do not want to be reminded of. Well, there's a free hat. Oh, that's a bit risky going through the forest here, isn't it? All right, this is the back of the farmstead. There's a couple of zombies out here. Some 41 are making a comeback. Jeez. Really? Okay, I think we've done a we've we've done a good job here actually. We've we've created a lot of distance between ourselves and uh, the zombies and we know that we can get to a safe place. Brent Carpenter, we're not going to make the same mistakes that we've made in the past, okay? This time this time we're going to take it easy. Take it easy. Oh, take it easy. Brent Carpenter, even though you got a shit haircut. Last, last words? No, no. First words. The first words at the start of a very, very long playthrough. I survived 1,000 days in Project Zomboid, the supercut. See, we know where we're going now. AFK in a shed for 1,000 days? We'd run out of food eventually, though. 
we need to go out and get some food, I think. Okay, we're only now just getting a bit thirsty. Is that a dead corpse? It does look like one. Huh. Well, we had a beanie. We lost a beanie happens. We've made it to a safe house for now. This house is quite safe. The door is locked. Brent, what were you thinking, man, when you got your hair cut like that? Oh, somebody in there. strapless bra. I'm sure we're not wearing underpants either. I'll put some on. Shoes, pants. We should probably wear some pants instead of camo shorts. These ones have been slightly damaged. Whoops. Ah. <laughs> Just in time for Woodcraft. Look at that. Brent Carpenter loves Woodcraft. Damn right he does. No, this is not Norbert. Poor Norbert's dead. He joins the Legion of Dead. I've got blood on my hands today. This is Brent Carpenter, who is now learning carpentry. You think Norbert uh, deserved it? I don't think he did. All right. Anyone in here? Nope. Bath towel, first aid kit, some bandages, a plunger, painkillers, bandage, sleeping tablets. Not bad, not bad. Some scissors here. Okay. Oh, there's maybe some better pants here. Yes, those are better pants. Oh my god. We got a double fanny pack here. And some, look at this, shell suit trousers. Look at these socks as well. And a formal shirt. 
Hell yeah. Some vitamins. Oh god. I'm always so scared. Ah, nice. All right, we'll go check the other house. Not much here. Get some lights on. Oh, look at the double fanny pack. Hey, uh, Mr. Pacific Storm, thanks so much for the five pay sips. Really glad to see you back on plan pl Planet Zombies, <laughs> Project Zomboid. Good luck. Also, the garages and roses are a great place to find melee weapons and tools. The garages, okay. If I ever make them, make it to there, I look forward to it. Oh, somebody in here. Alanis set. She's dead. Two socks, strapless bra, and some underpants. Ooh, a leather jacket. Probably want to wear that. A fresh radish. Good. <laughs> okay, we're we've got a frying pan. There's nothing really here. We'll drop this stuff off and then we can go um Well, we can't we we should probably skill up a little bit, but I don't know how. We might be able to make our way towards the the farm and at least try to clear that out. Especially if we go back in like a day or two, maybe the zombies will have migrated away. Shouldn't have really been that many there. Well, there's ice cream in here. Just be better. Oh, okay, Dowie. You know me. I'm always trying to be the best I can be. Okay, put an adhesive bandage on. We got 21 ripped sheets. We don't need that many, really.
Um, and we're still uh, quite uh, overweight, too. Because we're carrying around... Well, it's probably the rifle, right? And then we got some old clothing that we don't really need here as well. Nothing in the first aid pack. Okay, that's better. I'm going to eat this fresh bologna. Nice. Some bacon in here, too. We need to smoke. Alright, let's go check the farm. Now that we've... got a frying pan. If there's too many bad guys, let's run away. Or, you know. <laughs> die, <laughs> die luring them over fences. We got the double fanny pack combo. Yes, it's good. But you can't see it because we've got this leather jacket on now. Is the frying pan any good or no? It's not very good. Frying pan does pretty low damage. It's better than a pipe wrench. It's got amazing range. What the frying pan does? Oh, boy. No. Okay, let's just take it easy. Uh, we can fight one zombie at a time, right? Providing we're not, like, exhausted and overwhelmed and infuriated and... Okay, good. One down. Many more to go. This guy... Oh, I remember this guy following us, actually. Okay, he's got red spot. This guy's wearing a bra as well. Strapless bra. I can't judge. I'm also wearing one. Got to keep my movies. I got to keep my movies in place. All right. I think this is the key is to just take it slow. Take it slow and don't take fights that you can't win. Right? Just lure him out, Hitman style, one by one. Take him down.
All right, we're a little thirsty. Okay, I see the fence. It's our destination is in sight. It's pretty quiet. Can't see anything just yet. Before we hit the house, let's hit the shed. See what's there. Could be some weapons in there. Could be a really awesome pair of underpants in there with matching strapless bra. Mm. This is what I'm hoping for. Oh, okay. There's a couple of bad guys here. Is anybody in here? Looks clear. I messed it up. Come on, Brent. Yes. Okay. There's a bag of plaster powder. It's an empty bottle. Yeah. Good. That can go right back in here. Mechanics volume one. Nice. There is a wrench here. There's a jack for a car, electric wire. There's a propane torch, some metal sheets, small metal sheet. Oh, a hammer. Okay. Nothing, uh, nothing too amazing, but it's all good stuff. All right, let's see if we can peel a couple of... Uh, couple of these guys off without causing too much of a ruckus. Hey, psst. Over here. Over here, I want your hat. I love baseball. I think it's the best. lost your hat. Um, yeah, looking great actually. Tank top. There's a workman shirt here. You can wear that. It's bloody. Sneakers, briefs, denim jeans. I think we want denim jeans, right? They're hard wearing. I put the hat on backwards. I too am hip with the kids. Any peelers? Oh yeah, one peeler. Perfect. I love peelers. Okay, I peeled another one off. <laughs> this guy actually has a beanie, which I prefer to wear. Just think it looks better. Oh, yes. This guy's got military boots as well. That's great. Not too sure about the high-vis vest, though. A 
Bondo. I'm in. Front door is still alive. Sounds like it's coming from upstairs. No, it's here. Okay, I can see the time. Too. In the bathroom. Yeah. Nice. Painkillers and a toothbrush and a sheet. Leave that there for now. Anyone in here? No, it looks clear. Oh my god. This is great. Crossword magazine. Okay, that's upstairs cleared. All clear. All clear. There's a bandage. Ah, some disinfectant too. We might need that after, we'll see. Farming volume one. Metal work volume one, very nice. There's never anything in here, is there? No. All right, let's check the fridge. There's a fresh cabbage in here. Down the hole. And there's another can opener here. Good. Cooking pot. Bunch of canned stuff. Some dry stuff. Hey, there's a water bottle here too. Excellent. Gosh, that's great. All right. Hey, great. We're all healed up too. This is this is good. This is really good. Close the curtains. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, there's a can of something here, too. It's canned spaghetti bolognese. Spaghetti bolognese. All right. Before we get too tired, let's take out the trash. Okay, much better start. Much better start. We got out of uh, out of town without any great difficulties, and we've somewhat stabilized now too.
Let's get all these dead dead corpses out of here. Um, there's a sheet. Can we use a sheet to make a curtain down here? We can, right? Put that there. Great. All right. Probably do with having one on there and here as well, but actually, let's check the washing machine, see if there's anything. No, there's nothing in there. Okay, cool. Oh my god. Okay, it's midnight. Good, we can learn some kick, some cooking. Oh, I think it was just a commercial. There was nothing to uh, to be learned from that. Um. Well, oh, there's rope here. We need it. Okay, sleeping. You found a revolver in a washing machine in this game once? <laughs> That's cool. I like that. Maybe they were trying to... Uh, oh, we just missed our shows. We just missed our shows. Okay, let's grab Metalwork Volume 1. Let's have a sit down. And let's read this bad boy. God, Metalwork Volume 1. It takes forever to read. Look at this. What a slog. I, do, I can't set an alarm on this watch. It's a... Uh, it's not a digital one, right? I'd have to get... Uh, I'd have to get another one. This guy is just spending... Oh, here we go. All right, good. That's one. A, a bit of carpentry. I heard some screaming. Nice, nice, nice. Um, right, so that is Metalwork Volume 1 Red. Good. We need to eat. Um, can mushroom soup? Eat. I was going to try to warm it up, but no bueno. 
No bueno. Uh, place item. That didn't place it where I was expecting it to. Place item. Ah. Now it's on there. That's good. We can fill it up with water and boil the water, right? And boil our, our rags. Don't need to do that right now, though. Um, did I just eat all of that soup? I did. Okay, let's open up the spaghetti bolognese as well and eat that. Mmm. Good. So if we check our info, our weight is currently 70. Hair spikes and beard mustache. Training materials. Carpentry volume one. So we did metal work volume. Oh, that's cool. The training materials thing is pretty neat, isn't it? Farming volume one. What, uh, what weight do I need to get to to get um, out of being underweight? We're getting sleepy. We spent all day just reading. Eighty. Eighty is a healthy weight? Okay. Okay, we're getting really sleepy now. I just want to finish this book. Great. So that's farming volume one done. I'm just going to eat all this corn. Let's wash all my clothing here quick too. Nice. Just want to be nice and clean. Okay, good. Well, we got some skill ups. We managed to rest a little bit. It's not not a bad day. Get to bed early so that we can wake up in time for our favorite TV shows again. It's misty out there. Brent's a handsome man, eh? Oh, we missed our shows big time. Look, it's 840. How much sleep do you need, Brent? Jeez. He gets more sleep than me. And I'm not struggling to survive a zombie apocalypse. We need some, um, whatchamacallit. Smokes. We need some smokes big time. Okay, box of screws. Mechanics. I haven't read mechanics yet could do some tin cans here that we can drop painkillers can opener frying pan pants sneakers and a baseball cap okay good I can't believe that okay I'm not going out in this low visibility we're staying home again we're going to read this next book. 
Mechanics Volume 1. It's a learning montage. Now, we don't need to set the alarm because when the shows come on, as long as we're sitting here reading, we can still absorb the knowledge from the shows as well. It's no problem. See? Just got more. We're, we're Carpentry Level 2 already. Incredible. Because we're watching Live in Life, Living and Love and Life TV, that's why. I missed the morning show because I was asleep, yeah. I don't want to set an alarm because it's too loud. I'll get a little digital watch soon and then I can set an alarm on that so that we don't miss our shows. I love that there's VHS tapes with the shows on now, too. That's awesome. That was not in uh, the last time I played some time ago. Okay, Mechanics Volume 1, done. What can we eat now? Some canned pineapple. Yeah, nice. And how about some peaches as well? Yeah, nice. All right, we're feeling good. Should be in good health as well. Oh, shit. There's a car here, though. Okay, I think I can take two. I, I mean, I probably can't. But I'm going to try anyway. Okay, I got them. Got them both. Black digital watch? Yes, please. Okay, now we can set our alarm. What time... How do you set your alarm other than just clicking on it? Yeah, there's quite a few bad guys... God, I, I, there I am just sitting around watching TV, reading books. And outside in the front yard this whole time, all this madness. <clears throat> How crazy is that? Okay, we got half an hour until our shows are on again. Good. Duct tape, fishing line, fishing rod. There's a lug wrench, regular tire. Holy crap. Go fishing? I think this guy was trying to. Can't get into this car otherwise, though. All right, this guy's seen me. All right, if we want to go fishing, we can.
Come on, one at a time. One at a time. No more than one. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, good. Anything good? Leather jacket? Not needed. Already got one. Broke his back. This guy's got overalls and a workman shirt. Also wearing a, a bra. Oh, I missed my favorite shows. I was out here clearing the way. I missed all of my favorite shows. <laughs> Shit. I hate missing my shows. I hate when I miss my shows. It just... Does it does go to show? It does go to show. You're right. Ooh. Sneaking and light footed. Both have leveled up. That's nice. Hello, have you seen me? Perhaps not because of my sneaking and light, light foot shit. Okay. What the hell? Jesus Christ. That was uh, just unlucky, I guess. Just a bad angle. Skill issue. Uh oh. Looks like it made too much noise. Brent Carpenter, you're well on your way, mate. Well on your way. Um, we are going to um, have to call it there, though. i got to go. It's getting late. We will um, continue tomorrow and hopefully have more luck than we have had in the other four runs <laughs> today. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Chat. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Twitch and YouTube. Both of you. Thank you very much. Thanks for all of the uh, the subs, the resubs, the donations, the gift subs, the supers. I appreciate all the support. Thank you very much. Um, I'll be back uh, tomorrow morning. And uh, we, can, um, we can continue this run then. Okay, chat. LOL, lots of love. See you then. Peace. Bye now. Bye.